chat, this is with Sarah cleanup detail, which means we're basically going to be continuing to play an intro the whole time. <laughs> it's it's the same, th it's gonna be the same thing. We're just gonna be cleaning while we talk now. I don't want to mop. What? Chat, I came into chat today and I asked you if you wanted to mop. And you said, I like mopping. I asked who likes mopping and you said, I love mopping. Did you lie to me? I hate mopping. You lied to me, huh? Well, you're gonna learn to like mopping. Cause now you don't got a choice. We're going to the house of horror. Chat, a person died in this house. Of natural causes. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, bah, bah, bah. Bum, bum, bum. Natural causes. Natural causes. Natural causes. I haven't seen my office in a while. Let's check. Uh, let's check my office quick before we go in. You know, I haven't. We haven't seen how that's been. Oh. It's about the same as last time. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. Remember, chat, the last game we did was Revolutionary Robotics, and we actually cleaned it properly. What is this? What does this mean? Incident report for official record. Uh, filled in particulars of the IR8 form. This serves as company records for both your conduct and the incident itself. Below are the form and worksite particulars as filed out as filled out by the lead technician in charge of the operation. My lead technician was janitor. That's me. Worksite, uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, okay. I, I, that, that's just... Wait. There's more. That took me six hours, huh? Report accuracy was 19%, huh? Death reports accuracy was 0%, huh? I did not report many deaths very good. Efficiency, none. Incident particulars, none. Confirmed articles, zero. Work method, I left that part blank. Personal account, blank. Peer report, blank. Union report, completely blank. And there's many dead, uh, dead employees. Okay, well that's okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. You aren't good at mopping, better stay a streamer. Yes. Fuck you, dude. I'm gonna go onto my gaming computer now. Everyone, hang on, just give me a minute. I'm gonna hop on my gaming computer. I've seen things.img. That's not a picture of a cat. Hang on, where's the. None of these are pictures of cats. Whatever, I'm out of here. It's time. Chat, it's time. We have to clean. House of horror. Someone died in this house of natural causes, as I said. See, I'm tempted to leave this as a session that my friends can join if they'd like, but I'm worried about the, uh, I'm worried about the side effects of that, as in, they could ruin my good work. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. They might just troll me. Do it. Nah, fine. They probably won't. No one will probably join because I didn't tell anyone to join. But maybe. Maybe someone will pop in. Game rules. Time limit, none. Ghost mode. Wait, what's this? Wait, what? Ghost mode? A special game rule that hides players from each other, forcing them to work without knowing where the others are. Expect some very interesting gameplay and phenomena. All but one. The, not, the one that's not a ghost is me. I'm going to leave on ghost mode, and I'm not telling any of my friends to join. But if someone does join, I will not know if they are there. I will simply see a ghost frolicking around in my map. Who knows? Footprint limit, unlimited. Server name, none of this matters. Private game, okay. 
Limit net actors, high. Lock punch out machine. What does this mean? Unlocked allows any player to initiate punch out. No consensus. Nah, locked. Only you as the host can punch out the level. Locked. Okay. Hopefully all but one means literally I am the only thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want that. Because one ghost would be one person's a ghost. All but one means everyone's a ghost but one guy. Okay, that should be how it is. So that means I shouldn't be a ghost when I go in. Okay. I didn't put a password, so any friend of mine should just be able to join if they so choose. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. It'll be a fun little surprise if someone does. Let's begin. Unlimited footprints? As it should be. My name is Janitor. My age is 44. I'm a sanitation professional. The harrowing events that transpired here are certainly tragic and of a truly bizarre nature. But this must not hinder your work in any way. Proceed through the home and surrounding areas and make certain you have disposed of all substances and objects that may be of concern. Okay? Make doubly certain that you deal with any items that may be vulnerable to repossession. The family that lived here were of a reputable station within the town. So you are to hastily perform your duties to render the home respectable once more. The good people of the local community need not be aware of the true nature of the incident that occurred. So as always, discretion is paramount. I see. Well, chat, let's get, let's get to some cleaning. Let's take a look around and see what, uh, see what we can get to. All right, let's see. I've seen some seen some schmutz underneath the uh, garage door. That's pretty bad. Let's just get like a fucking bearings here. I think I've been on this map one time in my life. So just want to get an idea. All right, there's some schmutz here. There's a dead guy. Uh, all right. We've got some jack o lanterns. Those will be able to stay. Uh, circle around to the backyard. We've got some um some guys. Some dead guys. Guy with his head cut off. Higher FOV. More. I want more. You don't want more. It's at 90. This is my normal FOV. Oh, you want FOV. You want FOV. You want to be fucking quaking this shit. Okay, let's not do that. That's going to make me throw up. I love a game that puts the default at fucking 80. Like, that's as low as you can go. That's a game after my own fucking heart chat. Genuinely, that's a game after my fucking heart. Okay. Let's just keep. Oh no. Let's just keep looking around. All right, we've got a we've got a shed here. I don't want to check out too much. I want these. Wow, we'll get to that room later. That's a later room. That's a room we'll get to later. We'll clean that place up in a little bit. That's a that's a that's an evening job. All right, that's something we'll get to afterwards. Uh, how's the garage looking? Someone's trying to get in here. Uh, they failed. Oh, wait, they succeeded. Guy, I remember the fucking... I remember the fucking in Scream where some... Was it Scream? I think it was Scream. Some girl tried to, like, escape the serial killer psychopath by, like, climbing through, like... The doggy door uh, in, like, the garage. And they are fucking killed by a garage door. I'm pretty sure the garage door genuinely doesn't have the fucking engine strength to kill a person with it. I'm fairly certain garage doors are like, clock out at like a hand's resistance. <laughs> oh, hell yes it does. Garage doors can 100% kill you. Well, I didn't realize you guys had pansy legs and arms and bodies, dude. I just didn't realize you were like fucking little shits. Give it. Give it. Give it. Give it. How do I rotate this? Chat, how do I rotate? I remember being able to do that at one point. How do I... There it is. There it is. I got it. I got there. Michael. Michael. Michael... Yes. Oh no. It's already getting bad. I gotta be careful what I do. 
Remember, we must we mustn't scamper around and spread too much blood everywhere. Let's take a look inside quick. This is important. We don't go back there. All right, that's a wait. How the fuck am I? Wait, what? How am I gonna? Oh, we'll worry about that later. Man, this person really str like really tossed them everywhere, huh? Okay. Oh, I'm tracking blood in. Oh no. Oh, what have I done? This the inside actually ain't that bad. That's the thing. The inside's pretty good. This could be okay. I'm still trapped. This could be way worse. The inside. All right. Let's just find my let's find my gear and get this party started. What is this? Is, uh, this is my boombox? This is my boombox. Oh yeah. No, I want. To Leave that on. Okay, that's actually pretty loud. Hang on, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Leave that sort of quiet. All right, where's uh, where's all my gear? I need like, I need my incinerator. I need my fucking like, my 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 fucking vendor for buckets. Need my stuff. Let me get started with some basic, uh, rudimentary entry grade cleaning. Okay, it looks like over here we have a wood chipper, which we will use to dispose of all of our stuff into the neighbor's yard. That's good. That's good. That's very good. We can start making use of that very quickly. Uh, lifter. That's good. Where the hell is the bucket dispenser? Am I missing it, or is that like... Oh, it might be inside, or it might be in the backyard of death. Hang on, let's just, let's just, let's take it easy. Take a look around, see if we can find. Immaculate, we don't even need to touch this room. Just close it again, no problem. No issues there. We're just looking for the right of the chipper. Was it there? It better be there, or you're in big trouble. I will go crazy. Oh, it is here. No, this is a disposal bin. Oh, there it is. It's hiding from me. Okay, perfect. So now if we need to get rid of something, we'll just sort of... Huh? And just dunk it right into the neighbor's yard. That's good. All right, chat. Better start with the front of the house. Get started nice and early. Bring some, uh, bring some buckets to the front now. Put your hand in. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. The front of the house is pretty clean. We just had to get rid of some... Uh, some undesirables that have been loitering around the place for a while now. This guy's gotta go. He just seriously knocked over the bucket, huh? No, the bucket's fine. Alright, let's just huck this guy in the fucking dump. Where he belongs. Come on, sir. You can't stay here any longer. <laughs> The neighbors will have to deal with that now. Yes. Taking the long way. I like taking the long way. Plus, I don't want to track blood inside. The only other way to go is technically... Wait, is it, can, I, can, I, can I fit through this crack? No, I cannot fit through the crack. I might be able to open the garage door, but there's a person currently plastered to it. So I don't really want to do that yet. Wow, this is gonna be rough when I have to fucking, like, sniff out all the fucking footprints. Chat, look! Chat, behold! Already the front... Hang on. Already the front of this place is immaculate. I mean... Hang on. Already the front of this building is basically completely clean. It's gonna be fucking nothing, this job. One of the easiest jobs to hang on. We got, like, a... What am I gonna leave all these? Peter Carroll. I guess we'll leave all the fucking markers on the, uh, on the shelf. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it on. We'll leave them all on the porch here. That's fine. Yeah, we'll leave all of the markers for this level on the porch, so we know where everyone is. Can I get a? Can we crouch in this game? I'm trying to get an idea of what's in there. In the basement, though. I can't crouch. There's something down there. Something sinister in the basement. I'm not really sure what. 
You know what's really nice though? I'm not seeing any bullet holes, and that means I don't have to use the stupid super laser from last level. That's real nice. They're growing weeds down there. Excellent. Oh, dude, that's a fucking good one, man. That's a real good one, man. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> that's a real good one, man. <laughs> yeah, man. Don't make any more jokes, all right? I, uh... Oh, wait, don't I have to distribute these over here? I have to deposit all the name tags over by this fucking card clocker. Hang on. I'm remembering how this game works now. I'll bring Peter Carroll over here. There you go, Peter. No, I don't want to punch out. No, 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 no. We are not punching out. No, 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 no. No, 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 we're not... We ain't doing that yet. No, 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 no. I, I just meant to activate the thing. To get Cat Peter out of there. There's something off about hang on. If you're in this room, give me a sign, Peter. Peter, if you can hear me. How old are you? Okay, he's not he's not he's not he's not giving me a sign here. Hey, good news is, one, you are still very loud. I don't like this. Quieter. I want it basically inaudible, all right? I don't like, I, like I said, I don't listen to music while I double, ta I can't multitask with music, chat. I just can't, I can't do it. Look what you made me do. I'm angry now. You, why would you kick that over? Why would, why'd you kick it over, chat? You you angry? Why'd you do that? I had to fix it for you. It was a ghost. Yeah, I don't believe that. Ghosts aren't real. A psycho murderer came in here. You guys know that. It wasn't a haunted ghost. All right. I think I sort of want to do the exterior of the house before we get to the inside. I think that's like a responsible gameplay plan. So uh, we're going to grab this here thing. Grab the buckets. We're going to make sure we mop up everything. And we're gonna like circle just around the house and get rid of everybody we see and do it that way. All right, boy, you gotta go too, man. Party's over. You gotta. You, you can't. You can go somewhere else, but you can't stay here, man. All right. So just. Oh fuck. That's blood all. Whatever. Right, there's gonna be blood all over this thing. All right. Let's mop this one up. I will leave that one. I gotta leave the bodies around where I haven't gotten the fucking car, the ID cards yet, so I know where they are. Who's this guy, anyways? Kevin Taylor? <laughs> nice fucking job, Kevin. You're dead now. Outer Wilds is $15. Should you buy it? No, you should wait until it's more expensive so you can give the devs more money because they deserve it. If you want my genuine opinion. Wait until it's more expensive, then buy it for more money. Or buy it twice. That's also fun. Alright, man, Taylor, you, you fucking, you cleaned up quick. Real nice. Just fucking, hang on, how do you throw in this game? How do I huck? That's not it. Can I huck? Oh, there it is, baby. I feel bad for the neighbor. Oh my god, is it gonna be? F oh, this is gonna be where it becomes a problem. Chat, I'm tracking footsteps fucking everywhere in this game. This is a bad map for footsteps. We don't have like a flashlight key. That's gonna get bad real fucking quick. Whatever, we can get these right now. There's no problems right now. Okay. I track this into the middle here, so I just got- if I get rid of this, we're fine. Is that someone's head? In the shadows? Shit! God fucking damn it! Ugh. Give me fucking footsteps everywhere. I gotta clean up the source before- Chat, you guys gotta stop me if I do it again. There's no point cleaning up footsteps till I've cleaned the source. Okay, so we need to get to the source. 
And there's an awful lot of them, all right? There's like hands around here and shit. I need a- I need the one of the- I need one of the disposal buckets. Where's the fucking disposal bucket? I need to get rid of the source. The source material has to go. And then all the knives need to be put back in the knife closet. All the source needs to go. None of it matters if the source remains. Hang on, I'm gonna see if I can catch this person. Oh, you, you, whoa. you're, ah, uh, you're going right in here. Ugh. Look, she knocked it over. She's like, she learned, she learned that from you, chat. She learned this from you. She would have never done that if she hadn't seen you do it first. All right, that's all I'm going to say. Come here, what's your name? Who are you? Look at what you did! Oh, this guy's going right in. Get it, get it. Oh my god, how am I gonna fix this? I gotta keep everything as it was, chat. I didn't do that last time and it was a big mistake and the place looked like a- It looked like a fucking flood washed through it by the end of that level. This one needs to be better. More clean, better. Where's the fucking ID? I know it's hiding in here. I know there's an ID. You guys are making me so angry right now. I can't. I actually am getting a little bit peeled right now. Oh, oh, yeah, you're gonna knock it over too while you're at it, chat? Anything else you wanna do? Anything else you feel like doing today? Hmm? Here it is, chat. Here it is. Start throwing tantrums. I'm not surprised. I knew you'd do this today. When I woke up, I I knew you'd start doing this today. Help me get all the source from the outside. All right, we gotta get rid of the source. I think that's actually all of it. I'm gonna start mopping. Oh yeah. All right, the sources are cleaned. Let us begin the dark work. I should not mop near this though, because this is always gonna get dirty. Frankly, mopping out here first is probably a very bad idea, considering we have to come through here with blood on our feet over and over and over again. But, man, screw it, you know? I'm not changing. There should be a counter of how many times tomato made us go D colon. Well, the counter would fucking run out of hard drive space to count that hard drive. Because you guys are fucking... You guys are so sensitive. <laughs> you guys always... You always got something to cry about, man. You always got something that's, like, freaking you out. <laughs> See, there it goes again. The counter would be ha freaking out right now. Can't keep up with this. Look at you. Why can't you be happier like this uh, happy pumpkin? Hmm? You're just mean. I'm just fooling, chat. If I was mean, you'd know. All right, so uh, we are only going to clean the area around this fucking machine because it's going to do that quite a bit while I'm disposing of things, I reckon. It's going to be doing that a lot. Maybe there's another place with an incinerator in this fucking house that I haven't found, but I'm not about to go look at all right, there's devils in that house, and I need a professional. The exorcist hasn't gotten here yet to help me. Okay, so I, I'm not going anywhere near that till I know where the fucking exorcist is, okay? There's no telling the amount of demons in that fucking house. That an exorcist chat? We be as. Are you kidding me? Oh. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just remembering all the times this game made me furious. And it's stuff like that, dude. I just want to mop. I just want a game that none of the bull- Get rid of all the bullshit, just let me mop. Oh, there's the idea, okay. What just happened? Oh, key. Epic. Can I keep it? No, I can't. I have to take it. I have to drop it. Alright, remember that's there. Oh god! Oh god, it's happening! It's the big-
Wow. Okay, that sucked. That was real. Not fun. That was bad. James Sunderland. I see you're dead, James. It's truly a, truly a tragedy what happened to you here. Wherever anyone dies, I will light a single candle in memory of them, Chet. It is what I will do. Well, for the ones that I remember where they died, specifically. One candle for wherever a man or woman perished this fateful night. Did you seriously got a mop here? Hang on. Epic. Got it. Okay, I was tracking blood literally everywhere over here. This is really good for me. This is really good. Then another. That's a bright candle. It's the only good candle I've ever seen in my entire fucking life, frankly. Most candles- Look, chat, you wanna know why candles suck? They don't fucking- There is- it's Candles are just terrible light source. I- I'm so glad that we've moved on past these assholes. Whenever I've seen a horror movie or horror game, and you see somebody light a lighter or candle to see, I start laughing, like, out loud. I've done it in movie theaters when they've done it. I've started laughing. Like, fucking as hard as I can. Because that is the funniest fucking unbelievable bullshit I've ever seen in my whole life. Try lighting a fucking match and going into a dark room and seeing how good that does. Here's the thing, Chad. It doesn't. It doesn't do that good. That's the thing about it. I'm going to spoil it for you. It doesn't do very good. Is, it, is there a source here? Of the mess? Oh, you fucking unbelievable asshole. Fine. Oh my god. Get the- I got angry about that one. That one got me angry. That one got me angry. Okay, and a, a corpse- uh, uh, Not a corpse, a fucking candle needs to go right there! Cause that's another death spot. That's another spot where someone died. Alright, gotta get these candles down. Man, have you tried breathing exercises? I don't breathe. Much. I thought about it just now, how much I breathe, and I started thinking about manually breathing again. And I started thinking about if I mentioned manually breathing, everyone would start doing it, and that made me happy, so I mentioned it. How's that, how's that doing for you guys right now? You guys ever think about blinking? <laughs> Are you guys like blinking? You guys ever think about like blinking before? Oh, good. I think, hey, chat, I can't see you. Uh, I think my chat just b uh, blew up. I actually can't read anything you're saying. You guys better not be fucking, you guys better not be roughhousing in there while I read fresh the entirety of chat because it all broke. Oh, you better not be roughhousing in there while I reload. Oh, you assholes, I knew you were roughhousing. I fixed it. Oh, you guys are in big fucking trouble. It was nice for a second. There was no one fucking causing any... Oh, shit fuck is back in. <laughs> shit fuck is... Bezos found out we permitted shit fuck and he re-added it to the banned list. Uh, you can't say shit fuck uh, four times in a row without it uh, breaking. Again. Uh, why do these pumpkins keep falling over? Right, we'll leave that there. Shit fuck, shit fuck, shit fuck. I can't believe Bezos is such a pussy when it comes to that one. He's such a fucking pussy about it, you know? There's still fucking arms in this place. Are you kidding me? Whatever. I just gotta be careful where I drop this stuff, because I don't want to step in blood and then track blood with me back the way I came up. Look at how much... It's like a land... It's like a fucking field of landmines out here, Jack. All right, all right, all right. We almost got everything outside. This place, the outdoors of this place, the yard, immaculate. I dare not go down the haunted forest to see how dirty it is down there, though. I really, I'm going down there. Okay, one body. That's not bad. Uh, I don't think this opens. Oh no, it does. It does. That's a that's some sort of crypt. I think I know where the key is for that place too. Jason, good to see you, man. Hey, Jason, let's get your body uh, put away now for good. A 
Okay, I didn't track people. All right, let's uh, make sure we... Let's just clean up everything. I'll, I'll, we'll check the key, chat. Don't worry, we'll check it. I'm just trying to... Wow, hey. It's going to be real hard to see blood on these leaves. Now that I think about it. Uh, not really sure how the fuck I'm supposed to... I have to use, like, the sniffer. It's going to be sort of hard to see the blood in this deal. Maybe I got to use the candles. Oh. Mm, sir, good to see you. Good sir. Yes. Pathetic. Dude, imagine dying. Yeah. To something so mundane. As a machete. I'm a gamer. If I'm gonna die, I wanna be like fucking like ran over by an elephant. Like something epic. <laughs> Killed by a machete is too easy. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a gamer. I wanna be taken out by like a like a alligator jumping onto like the deck of my ship and ripping me off for the fucking like the, the top of the ship and then eating me while I just scream and try to wrestle it, but I lose the wrestling match because it bites my legs off. And I want it to be epic. That sounds lame as fuck. Wrong. Chat. If, all right, be honest. If I fucking like turned on my stream and I was like in the fucking, in Africa, all right, in like the Savannah and I said, hey guys, I'm doing an IRL stream, hang out with these elephants. And then one just turns around and Fucking runs me down. <laughs> runs me down and crushes me. You'd be pogging. You'd pog, dude. You'd be like, oh, shit, man. It would only be after the pogs that you'd start. It would start to set in, you know? And then I would show that it was all green screen the whole time. And it was, in fact, fake. Because there's no way my body has the antibody power. My, I haven't been outside in 30 fucking, you know, months, dude. I can't go out there again. I would die the instant I walk outside my door. My body would burst into ashes. So it's all going to be fabricated. It's all fabricated. I'm not actually going to die out there. So you'd be like, oh, dude, he's alive. Epic. Or you'd say he scammed us. He just faked it. And you'd get really fucking mad. It could go either, either way on it. I gotta sniff. Because I want to check the, air, uh, the area out. Uh, out here. Wait. Why isn't this thing sniffing? There we go. Sniff. Okay. Just trying to make sure this thing's working properly. I want to make sure this whole outside area is clean of footsteps and schmutz. Before we move on. Just because otherwise it's just going to get ahead. It's going to be really annoying. Oh. I'm the mess. <laughs> it's following me! Alright. Hang on. There's still some mess here. Just mop. Like indiscriminately. Is it blue? Chat, blue is for detecting blood, right? Blue's for blood. I am i don't really understand the sniffer. Blue is trash? Then what's green? I mean, I know, I think it's this. I gotta move the bucket out of here. If I move the bucket out, then I'll be able to tell. I think it's the bucket that it's smelling. Put that down. It was the bucket. Okay. All right, this area is clear. All right, nice. Oh yeah. It's the bucket, all right. All right, so the outside is totally fucking immaculate, chat. The only place it's dirty still is the grinder, but that's obviously happening. It's gonna be that way for a while. Let's, uh. Let's clean this wall quickly. God, this game is so. I fucking love this game, dude. Like, in an, uh, in an unironic way, this game is a very fun game for me. I've always really liked playing this game for real. There's just something about it. It's very relaxing. Almost hypnotizing, you so. Okay, there's nothing. There's nothing on there. It's really satisfying. It really is. When you like, when it all comes together, 
I feel like I should get this shed done as well first. But I'm like afraid. I don't like how much blood is in here. This is all. This is a big mess. <laughs> this one. This one might be the dirtiest room in the whole goddamn house. But I feel like it's a ticking time bomb. I gotta clean. I'm doing it. Oh my god, that is a lot of blood. In here, let's just carve out a path. Oh god, we're already completely fucking doused in blood. Carve out a path. It's everywhere. It's on the ceiling. I feel like Invader Zim in the germ episode, dude. Just like fucking blood, like just germs everywhere. Just start screaming, dude. It's fuck it. It's everywhere. Everywhere. God, I fuck, dude. I don't think about Invader Zim very often. But I still stand by that being one of the best fucking animated shows of the before time. Before all animated shows started to suck. Before they all started to suck. Every single one of them, without fail, started to suck. Tomato's head explodes from touching blood. Yeah, I am... Seriously, I really got, I hate how much, how difficult it is to see all these. If I step in one of these blood footsteps, I create more infinite blood footsteps. So it's like, I, it's a, it's a constant loop. It, no, it will never end until I've found the source blood. Oh, I need to, hang on. Got this. Who's this? Adrian Oscar? Fucking dead, man. This guy's fucking dead as hell. Let's plug him into the machine. And then, uh. Bring a waste basket over. We need to get these body parts out of here before we do any more mopping, or this is just never gonna end. Let's bring this up front to the shed. Uh, and get this guy carried out. <laughs> There's two names in there, I think. There's two people who died in here. Adrian, of course, is not the dead body. Adrian is the, um, pile of guts on the ground. Is that a person's jaw? Yeah, that goes in the box. Okay. I just gotta reach over to Matthew Robertson. That is a- that's a good name. Now, that's a name that puts on fucking pants. Alright, dude, that's a fucking name. Alright, that's a keeper. Best animated cartoon of all time was Young Sheldon. Someone added me to say that. Can, uh, I want my mods time them out for, um, eight hours. I'm not even- that's not even a joke. I'm not joking when I say that one. Alright. Thank you, Petri. I appreciate it. Yeah, get that guy the fuck out of here. I don't want to see him again. Wow, this is gonna take a little bit. There's a lot of body in this fucking in this shit. <gasps> I oh, I remember now. I remember the I remember the fucking stress of piling stuff. I got get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get off, Bucket Chan. You're making me panic. Carefully now. Everything's gotta oh everything's gotta go in. Is that a lawnmower? Guys, the lawnmower is not trash. That's gotta stay in here at the end of all this. Carve out some more of the space. This is so fucking dirty in here. This is a horror game, by the way. A lot of people don't think Viscera cleanup detail is a horror game. I disagree. I think even without this level being a haunted map, this is a horror game to me. Opening a fucking room like this and seeing that there's a billion fucking things to clean and then missing them up and just like fucking splashing blood all over the ground. It's a horror game. Take it to the bank. This is a horror game. Oh, but it's getting so clean in here, dude. Is the mo is this itself bloody? Technically, I think yes. Nope, that's just its casual look. Okay. Human body. Oh my god, you fucking asshole, man. Matthew. Matthew! Matthew, please! No! No, oh, you son of a bitch, Matthew. Twitch dropped me, chat. That wasn't me. That was Twitch. Uh, don't know what just happened, cause I didn't drop a frame. Nothing happened on my side. But hey, welcome back.
If that happens again, I'll have to switch Twitch servers. As usual, there's always a problem with New York every time. Without fail. The Twitch goblin got him. I mean, the fact that it re came back up that quickly implies that that's a Twitch side thing. Because if it was an internet side, uh, I would have been down for a bit longer than that. So, once again, every problem that ever happens ain't my fault. I get to blame someone else. Thank you, Bezos, for giving me another free out. Uh, how much body part fell here? Okay, there's fucking... There's, oh my god, please. How much blood can an intestine even have? Please! I gotta get, I gotta get this all out of here. It's all gotta go. It's all gotta go. Let's get this out of here now. That's like a bomb. This is fucking... This is the worst. This gotta get out of here. Get it all out of here. Ugh. Okay. Now let's finish this fucking... Let's finish mopping this up. This should be nice and easy. Oh, baby. It's done, baby. Look at this place. Clean as the day it was per- Clean as- Clean as the day it was purchased. And we can stow all leftover props in here. Without a problem. Now let's get to, uh, candles, because we need to put these in there, uh, in memory of the people who got fucking totally, uh, totally fucking slammed in there. They've got to be- Gimme. Give me the candle. Give me candle chan? I can't get that one. It's broken. Give me another. Thank you. Immaculate. I've never seen a shed more beautiful than the more beautiful than this one, chat. Yes. One more. Candle. Fire hazard. I don't give a fucking excuse my word here. Excuse my language. Ding dang. Uh, shit. Yeah, yeah, shit. I don't give a ding dang shit what the fuck you think. The candles are going in. Whoa. Yeah. Hey, I got a sniff. I've got filth on the other side of this wall. It better be right here. Where is it? I've got, I've got. You son of a bitch, is that it? Is that good now? I've got filth on the other side as well. Where's the filth? It says it's right here, but I don't see it. Oh, it's the bucket. This thing's gotta go. After I get rid of all these other footsteps, again. Cause these just lead to me tracking more footsteps. And then the problem never improves. Okay, all right. Uh, there has to be an incinerator in the- There has to be an incinerator in this house, hang on. I'm gonna navigate to the basement. I got a good feeling about the basement. Like, incinerator in the basement, hang on. Now where is this place? Down here? Oh yeah, it's down here. Hello? Looking for the incinerator? Wait a minute. Tell me it's so. Tell me it's so. It is so. Infinite water. For now, we're just gonna leave all of the body parts in the fucking sink. Let's keep looking around. So I'm taking it there's no incinerator? Alright, I'll just go. Alright, there's no incinerator in this house, which is really unfortunate because I sort of need one of those. Uh, I, need a, I need a better way to get rid of these fucking buckets than the fucking washer. Well, the, the grinder, because that thing really is just gonna say... I guess I should check that crypt, huh? Hang on, let's cross over to the other side. Okay. Damn, when you get to like the center of the map, the game gets a little chunky. Alright. Give me one minute, chat. I'm gonna see if this works for this. No, 
No, it does not. Does it work for this? I never actually checked if I could just open this, though. I cannot. Okay. Yes? Yes? Oh, wait. I could just open it. Never mind. I have to go. I'm sorry. It's the aspartame, chat. I'll be right back. Oh my god, man. That was a pretty good one. That was pretty, that was pretty, uh, excellent. Wait, where is it? Oh, no, I don't remember this. I definitely don't remember that. Um, we gonna, we gonna save that for a little bit. We'll be back to that. I mean, we are here, though. We can clean this place a little. I need to go get some... I need to get some baskets, though, before I do that. Wait, where did I put that key? Okay, it's right at the door. I don't want to lose that, because now I don't know where it goes to. Let me just grab, like, a couple waste baskets and another bucket. Fireplace's furnace? Possibly. Possibly. I could test it. Oh, they already gave me a complimentary waste basket right here. There's no way this works for this, by the way. There's absolutely no fucking way this will work. See, it just charred it. And it didn't even cook his hair off! No. Yeah, no. Nope. That ain't gonna do it, man. Unfortunate. All right, everyone, get in. All heads go in. Uh, and t oh, there's another key. I'm gonna try this one in the crypt real quick. But I'm tracking blood. Hang on. Yeah. Gotta make sure I wash off. It didn't do it. Nope, no dice. Unfortunate. We'll leave this on the uh, swing for now. It did it? It definitely didn't do it when I clicked on it, man. I don't think so. Oh, there we go. I guess I was just miss. I guess I was just clicking through it before. Yeah, you can miss it. Okay, it's not a solid wall. Yeah, I thought I heard the sound. It's just you can click right through it. So what's this here? This place looks like it's a big mess. Oh no, it's all dark too. I mean, I've got like a thing going on. No, I got a lot of clean I already have to do. I'm unconcerned by this. What is Oh that the dead will rise. Yeah, right. Uh it's been a very long process, but I think I've rebuilt the altar as best as I can tell. I've only been able to learn a few things about its origins. It's apparently old. Very old. Maybe if I can figure out what sort of worship took place, I can uncover its secrets, its power. I'll ask the guys at Amontillado. Maybe they'll know more. If not, they must have a book at least. This is exciting. Right. There's also like a void vortex in the basement. And somehow this place has electric power. Wow, this guy's dead, man. Well, oh, this place is a mess. Who is this guy? Anyway, Edgar Watch. Yikes, man. All right, well, nothing I can do with all that other than track blood all over the place. 
How much blood am I gonna track? Please. Okay. Yeah. Hang on, level. Dude, footsteps in this game give me actual anxiety. I'm not. I don't feel. I don't feel good with that. Chad, if I just like dropped for some of you, that is Twitch's side. I haven't dropped again. So refresh if you're dropping. I don't know why people are saying F. Unless you mean F is in Edgar, watch F. Or do you mean watching as in you can't watch anymore, so F? I'm now I'm confused. Now I'm a little worried. And when I get worried, I knee jerk cancel my streams. You wouldn't want me to. Knee jerk can I might just knee jerk cancel. I'm just gonna knee jerk cancel the whole stream. I might just cancel. I I'm gonna cancel. Someone's saying F. I'm gonna cancel it. Yeah, you're like scaring me. It's all over, baby. <laughs> That's right, baby. Get excited. This is the one where tomato cancels it, baby. Wow, this is an easy room to clean, actually. This ain't that bad. I need to get these body. I need to get the other body parts out of here. All oh, this has got to go. Hang on. Let's get. Uh, worry about the bodies before we worry about cleaning. Please. Yes. Why did I even put this in here? This is so hard to get. Easy, get in there. Yeah, baby! Alright, this works. Get this to the dump spot. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Stop saying EDF! You say EDF, you're gonna make me wanna play EDF, dude. I can't go back. We can't go back. The last EDF game fucking sucked. And EDF 6 isn't out for like a year, man. I can't go back. We can't. I'm gonna need more mops. I already know I need more mops. I need another basket, I think. We can't. We can never go back, chat. EDF is gone. They're fucking gone. Okay, let them go. And let's all pray in unison that the next EDF uh, actually has... A functional fencer that isn't incredibly OP to the point of being better than every class decisively. That would be pretty cool. As a fencer, man, I'd like people to not yell at me and say that I'm objectively better than them. Because it's a little embarrassing for them. And I feel like it totally fucks with the game group dynamic. When everyone looks at me and they say, wow, this guy's still alive, huh? He can't die, huh? And I'm like zooming around faster than everyone else in the game. I'm just saying, guys, it's not my fault. They're like, wow, you can't die, huh? We all have to watch you play now, huh? You rezzed us for the 18th time, huh? What is he, like, the medic and hard carry? I'm like, guys, come on. It's not my fault. It ain't my fault, technically. I was thinking about pistachios the other day. Chat. Shelled ones. It made me angry. It actually made me angry. Because, like, I also had, like full peanuts the other day like peanuts that weren't that came with their shells i had to like actually do that stuff like take off the shell it made me angry it reminded me of my lobster complaint you know where like i dislike having to do any work when it comes to food like i demand complete food satisfaction where all the work is done for me preemptively i was like why did the fuck haven't we figured out how to grow peanuts without shells and pistachios without shells yet when is this gonna happen i know you can get de-shelled but why haven't we genetically <laughs> he thinks it's funny he thinks it's funny that it hasn't happened yet so are you just gonna follow me and watch now you're not that scary little bitch I, it made me angry <laughs> Is this gonna be every 10? I gotta clean up this place fast if he's gonna be laughing every 10 seconds, dude. I like literally don't, I don't have the bandwidth for that. I'll just clean quickly and get out of here before he like laughs anymore at me. It's bed. There's no way bed is here. Cause I don't, I, yeah, I remember I set it to multiplayer technically so that people could come in and do that ghost mechanic if they wanted. But I didn't like message anyone and say, hey, come in here and spook me. Like I, I, I never did that. I only decided to do this on a whim, so like, I, I wouldn't be shocked if anyone, if no one shows up, all right? Because I don't have friends. All right, let's bring Jacob over to the clocker. 
Look up. That's the sky, all right. That's the ceiling of the map. Same. Same, man. Same. Look north. Ah, uh, yes, hang on, activating triangulation. Now, right there, we have the moon. And if that's the moon, then that there must be the North Star. Right there. Which means north is this way ish. I've located the northern sky. And now I shall look north and see what I see. Wow, it's a, it's a lamp. It's a street lamp. This sucks. Chat. I'm docking your pay for that one. I know. I know it sucks to have your pay docked. But, you know, you keep making mistakes. No! I'm real angry about this. Who put this in there? I bet it was you. Pay docked again. Docked again. That's another piece of pay. Literally can't get lower. Oh, it can. You can start paying me. Oh wait, you already do technically do that. I gotta get this. I gotta get this fucking bucket out of here before it causes a real problem. It spills over and I start screaming. I could make you pay me. We get paid. Well, in exposure, yeah. Like if I read your message, that's literally me paying you in exposure. So yes, you can put that on a resume. <laughs> you can put down. I got a message of mine read in chat by Tomato Gaming. Uh, insert the Twitch link on your resume. Uh, in your resume. That is literally exposure. And the hiring person will literally laugh you out of the office. But that's okay. You don't need them. All you need to do is consume my content. Consume the content. Consume content, chat. Please. I'm begging you. Consume the content. Who made that sound? Why would you do that? Thank you very much for the ten dollars. Hey, yes, my lord. Sorry, my lord. Here's our pay for the week, my lord. Thank you. That's very nice of you. You really shouldn't have, except you should have, and should continue. How am I taking these bodies out of here without making the entire upstairs not? De we need to find out where the portal of death leads. This might get us out. This might. This might solve our problem. Oh my god. Well, I'm not doing that. Oh, so the portal of death leads to death. Well, I'm janitor too. I'm a placement sanitation worker, and it's come to our attention that one of your on-site colleagues has uh, perished. Well, I'm not going to end up like him, sir. I promise you, with absolute certainty, I ain't ending up like that guy. Let's bring this waste basket. I'm gonna need to bring. I'm gonna need to get rid of some fucking guts and. Uh, pee. Can, I think I can get rid of bodies into the portal of death. Just think about, like, who, how long just been there? Come on, man. No. Carefully now. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Move, man. I'm fine. I'm just angry because now I got like 18 more things on the wall to clean because that body splat. Oh my fucking god, this cannot be happening. This is the worst day of my life. How much blood is there? Oh, they're gonna be so mad when they see all this mess. Chat, you know what I've been thinking about lately? Long dark. I think it's time. To do the wolf mountain challenge where I get a flare gun from the top of Timber Wolf Death Mountain. I think it's time to do another big boy long dark challenge. Defeat the wolves on the peak. Collect the flare gun and escape. Is this all trash? Oh, yeah, this is trash. Yeah, 
these are like definitely trash. Trash goes in the bin. I think the boxes are not trash though. I think the boxes are real. I don't I won't be able to tell till I got rid of all the cans though. Oh wait, I gotta mop the roof, don't I? Beautiful. Alright. This game is so fucking nice. I like I've actually played this game legit off stream chat to de-stress and like can't like chill out, dude. It's uh it is if you've never played this game, just trust me, man. Thought you could hide from me, huh? Thought you could hide from old tomato gaming, big fucking mistake. The gun? Oh, the gun isn't trash. This is my American right. That's not garbage. Damn right, brother. That stays right, uh, right there on the catch. In case I need it. That stays right there, pointing right at the uh, front door. Sideways while loaded. My boomstick. That's right, chat. Damn right. Get rid of this thing again. I don't want to carry you. Oh, it's in my inventory now. Cool. All right, chat. Let's, oh my god, look at how much more mess there is now. This is your fault, you tried to trick me to go in there. I came so close to summoning it today, I know it. Perhaps if I just tweak the pronunciation a little. I'm so close, I can feel it, just one step away from the revivification. That's such a hard word to say. Right, succeeding. Say that three times fast, dude. Revivification, revivification, revivification. Like, look at that, it's hard. Hard word. I'm not sure exactly what will happen when I get it right, but I've come this far. I know I have to do this ever since I found that book the day we moved in. In the meantime, I keep paying homage to the altar, hoping for a sign. Yeah, it's going right in the fucking garbage bin. That's my sign I'm gonna give it. This is a cursed fucking area, dude. I can barely get out. I'm gonna need more waste baskets. I actually am. This is. I don't want to take this downstairs. It's full of trash. It's already full. Chat, if this spills everywhere while I take it downstairs, you guys are going to hear the beast awaken, okay? <gasps> Woo! Hey, baby. It's as simple as that, man. Simple as that. Hey, oh. I have to get all these bodies out of this fucking basement, which is. Wow, that's spooky. Dude, that's, that's grim. Shadow gun. I need to know if I can dump these inside the portal. Yo! Take these bodies and throw them somewhere else, man. I don't care. Get this all out of here. Get it all out of here. All of it. Yo! Yeah, it's all gonna pop out on the front yard, isn't it? I need to go do a sweep of the area. I need to know. No, I gotta know. Hang on. Where'd these dump? <laughs> where are these dumping? You tell it to me straight where are these dumping. I'll see it. That was a lot of body. I'll see it. Go in the portal. It exploded me last time I went in it, so we know that's not gonna work. I don't see anything in the front yard. And if it's not in the front yard or the backyard, I don't care. Just go in the portal. Last time I tried to go in, it blew me up, chat. I'm not falling for it again. You demon of the of the darkness, the dark abyss. I'm not falling for it. You can't fool me. Without, you know, without a much more well thought out plan. I don't want to go down there yet. Hang on, I need to send in my buckets. This sucks. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Let's just clean everything at once first. Get all the body parts out of the goddamn way. All the fucking cans. All of it. Everything's getting out of here. Ch 
Chainsaw, that's probably to keep. Dear Mr. Adams, find and close your order of goods from the cask of Amontillado. Two sacrificial daggers, one two pound boarding salt bag, two ghost face masks, 25 cream colored wax candles, 12 fluid ounces of sheep's blood, one hooded black robe with green elder god embossing. Uh, a reminder to renew your yearly subscription to our Cryptodermis magazine publication before Friday the 13th. Pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Adams. Pamela Voorhees, Purchase Facilitator. Huck it in the fucking interdimensional portal of death. Look at this guy. Is that me? That what I look like? Yeah, what do I get? I need to get another waste basket just so I can move this all in one go, because this is so much fucking meat, dude. There is so much goddamn meat. There's like, the stuck under the goddamn tables. I don't even want to get this. How do I get this? Please, sir. Sir. Chat. I can't get this. We have an uncleanable emergency. Uncleanable emergency here! Oh no. Oh no. I can't. How do I fucking crouch in this game? There's no, the crouch buttons are not what you think they'd be. Alright, chat. Because there isn't one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. There isn't one in this game. <laughs> Please! Please! Jesus, if you're there, I'm gonna need you to do some fucking lifting on this one for me, man. Most of the time, it doesn't even grab it. Oh my fucking god. I got it! One piece is gone. The other piece is so far back I can barely even fucking see it. Please stop rolling backwards, good sir. This is unfucking believable. I have to actually hope that if I mop it, it'll like bounce close. <gasps> We got him, baby. Baby, we got him, baby. Baby. That's a clean fucking basement, baby. Okay, we're gonna need to bring another waste bag basket down here, but right now I'm just gonna mop up some of the schmutz. Okay. This sucks. I have no idea how I'm supposed to get a bucket down there. We're gonna have to mop up all this anyways. How am I gonna get a bucket safely down here? I'm getting real angry. I don't know how to get a bucket down there. Cause like, I can't drop it or it tips. And if I try to take it down there manually, it just falls and tips anyways. So what do I do? A answer me. You don't. I will. I don't want to climb all the way up every time. That's that's a lot of work. I guess I'll have to. Even though that's a lot of work. I grabbed a couple of buckets. I'm gonna need like two for this job. No, need, I need like three. And a basket to get the rest of the trash in. Backwards down the stairs. Shut up. I'm sorry, that wasn't even like a joke. That was just me telling you to shut up. And it came out really mean because it sort of was supposed to. That's only because I feel very vulnerable right now. My ability to clean is being questioned by people I barely know. You know so much about me and I know nothing about you, chat. Everyone post one exciting fact about yourself. Go! Quickly now, I need to know one thing about all of you so I've got something over you, all right? I need to have some ammunition here. I'm... They better be good fucking facts, because while I was reading them, this thing tipped over, and that just ruined my whole life. 
I have a pet pig. I've killed a man. That's meaningless. I don't care about that. Uh, hang on. Stop. That's enough. I don't care anymore. Sorry, chat. I thought I could keep up with it, then I forgot. I don't, I, like, there's far too many of you to get through all these, all right? So instead, I'm just gonna, like, assume that you guys have, like, pets and stuff, okay? That's, like, something that every, at least 18 people probably said. I've killed a lobster who hasn't, all right? That's nothing. I want real facts. You know what I'm saying? This sucks. I hate this basement. Why did I decide to clean this place? Why did you tell me to clean this place? Did I ever grab that waste basket? I totally did not. Oh, hang on. How much blood can I put? <gasps> How many times am I gonna bring buckets out here and spill them? I'm looking at you guys and it's making it happen. I'm looking at you guys and this keeps fucking happening. I keep fucking bringing buckets over here and I'm spilling the, the same one over and over again. This is the last bucket I'm bringing out. Spill joke? This is... This isn't a joke. One, there's nothing funny about spilling things. Two, and like... Shut it. Shut it. I don't have the energy for this anymore. You get my waste basket. Chat, we haven't even started cleaning the house yet. Dude, we're getting like the fucking like extra parts. We clean the shed. Like, imagine fucking hiring someone to clean your ho whole house and they start with, like, your creepy backwoods cabin. Oh, no, I broke more stuff. This is probably- this is garbage, right? This is nothing. That's trash. These are going- these are going in the trash where they belong. Not a bit. Spill bit ain't a bit. I had to do it like that. I had to, you have to believe me. Cans in. We're gonna dispose of all of them into the portal. Chet, if this actually dumps somewhere real. Okay, so after the Banshee incident, I've learned a lot, enough even to maybe tackle this next thing. I've gathered all I can from the cask of Amontillado on demonology. Now to try a couple summoning rituals, day three, Three days and nothing. We will have to keep trying. Day 10. Something. Something is happening. A portal of some kind is opening, but it quickly fades again. I'll have to pick this up after I get back from our anniversary. I've left some notes in the summoning book so I don't forget where I left off. Maybe I, what I wrote down will actually work when I get back. Like trash. It's not my job to worry about summoning portals. It's just my job to dispose of any remains. What constitutes as garbage? No. It's more? Okay, so I've got summon your own banshee. Figured I'd start small with this one. Only managed a wisp of smoke yesterday. Hoping today is better. Ugh, I'm so close. But it keeps fading after only a few seconds. I did everything in the book. What am I missing? Day seven. Yes! She's standing here! She won't talk, but she won't disappear either! Day eight! I've kept the banshee in a circle of warding salt for now, but soon Marjorie will become suspicious. Damn it. How do I unsummon this banshee? Day 10. Woo, that did it. She's gone. Damn blood rituals. I always get so cut up. Dude, imagine having a pet banshee. Get rid of all these fucking papers. Evidence of the dark work. Does a chainsaw count as garbage in this context? These cans have got to be trash. These cans are going in the bin. Every can in here is going in the bin. We're making a, we're making a group decision. Cans are trash. Okay, if it's in a can, might as well be garbage. All of it. All of it's going in the trash. If it's a can, it goes in. We've got too many cans. There's no way these are valuable. My soup! Your soup can go to hell. This is gonna, by the way, when I try to pick this up, it's gonna explode and definitely not go into the portal. So get excited for the part of the uh, stream where I lose. It's hard to lose in Viscera cleanup detail, but that's uh, what I consider it to be. I'm gonna fill this whole thing up to the brim, and I'm gonna try picking it up, and it's gonna just like 
physics throw items everywhere. Be real funny. Is that a body part? No. Just can't. This is getting too full. This is getting too full. It's starting to it's starting to vibrate. Oh, I'm getting spooked by this. But we have to do more. More. It wants to live. It wants to live, chat. I think it's time. I think it's time. Stuff's starting to fall out the sides. It's time. Ah! Are you still hungry? Are you still hungry? You still hungry? You want some more snacks, man? It's hungry for more, wants more snack. These have got to go upstairs. The markers, the names have to go upstairs still. It wants more snack. I grab a chat member by the head, I huck them in. <laughs> they explode into the thing. And I throw in some cans so the chat member doesn't get hungry in their new home. I throw in some cans so the chat member has something to eat while they're in hell. I am a, I, I always watch out for them, you know? The can hits them very hard on the head. And they, and they pass out, they're unconscious now. The can hit them, the can just like fucking hit them. Just like right in the back of the fucking head when they arrive. You can't be hungry if you're dead. That's a very good point. That is a good thing. That's a good fucking point there, man. Is it time to clean? Is it almost over? Are the cans all gone? Wait, where's the other marker? Okay, I got them. I got them. All right, this place is fucking ready for the mopping, baby. Wait. Now it's ready for the mopping. The big mop. This mop's already completely dirty. Wait, we got more cans, man. Oh, never mind. We're gonna those cans are those cans are of value. It's basement cans. Okay. Let's get in there. Is it already dirty? Wow, this is gonna take a fucking day going up and down these stairs, man. It's fine. It's fine. Look, it's already basically completely clean. Look. It's mainly the footsteps. Honestly, the place ain't that dirty down there. It's mostly footsteps. Rip? Nah, if, if you're fucking, if your connection's breaking down and you can't see the stream, that's a you problem, man. My internet is completely flawless. There is, chat, I would dare say 90% of this was me. Like actually just causing a big fucking mess. This might take more buckets than this. That's a, that is a high concentration mess down there. Oh my God, it's so, there's a lot in there, man. This mop can't take it. It's screaming for release. Whoa, I didn't even fucking make a dent in it and the mop had to go back up for a lap in the bucket. Oh my God. We're not gonna make it. This ain't gonna make it, chat. What? Oh my god! Throw buckets in portal. Chat, you don't understand. I can't get- <gasps> ah! oh! It's cool. I didn't care. I don't care. Throw the bucket in the portal. It's fine, though. I don't know why that happened. That was a good throw, though. That throw- the throw was epic. Wow, I need more buckets. Don't tip. I don't know why that last time it tipped. I have to like literally clean this whole thing though. Why? God. Why? Please, are we almost done here? Okay, that's all that's left. Is that shit in the corner? Why? This was not, this was not at full dirty, you're lying. 
Oh, there's some mess on the fucking stairs, too. Okay, here we go. We might have enough. We don't have enough. Oh my god, this is fucking eight different... This is like eight buckets worth of mess on that spot. How the fuck? What's that sound? It's over. We're fine. We're fine. This is gonna be fine. All right, this is fine. This chainsaw is- I, I decided the chainsaw is trash, though. We're throwing out the chainsaw chain. This thing is definitely getting more powerful. I'm hearing it, dude. Chainsaw is getting more powerful. It's fucking making sounds. You know what I mean? It's making sort of like rumblings. I, I, I feel like there's something up there. Are you kidding me? I'm not tracking. Alright, I'm not tracking blood. We're fine. This thing's got one more solid clean in it. Okay, we might actually be able to do this. Is that body? Oh my fucking. Okay, that's why it was still dirty after all this, dude. There's been a fucking jaw just like bouncing around, spilling blood everywhere. This is advanced dirt. But I think we have just enough to finish the work. We might. We didn't. Okay, we're gonna need another. We're gonna need two more buckets to clean all this. And that's implying that we don't spill any more buckets on the way out. Pocket bucket, grab a bucket. This might be enough. This, if, if we can get all of it, including footsteps, then this is clean and ready. And then maybe we'll tackle some inside the house rooms. That'd be nice. <gasps> what am I doing? Why am I trying to take that? Why, am I, why did I try to go down there with it? Why would I bother? We know what happens. Alright. Looking good. Unless there's anything behind the portal. I have to check that, don't I? How do I check? Do I like, can I sniff back there? Hang on, I'm gonna try sniffing back there. You're hiding some schmutz back there, ain't you? You fucking asshole. What's back there? Nice and clean. Like a baby. Look at that, see, nice and clean. See, chat? There's something behind this, I think. No, nah, it's just detecting the bucket. I gotta get that bucket out of here, and then I can do the last. Then I can do the last lap. We get this bucket out of here, and we bring the other one outside, and then we can check if it's actually clean in there or not. Actually blind. You're blind. Have you ever checked? They go to a doctor about it. Idiot. <laughs> What if it's all in your head? Have you checked recently? That doesn't count. Let's activate smell of vision. Oh. See, I could only see that because the smell of vision took away the cloaking on it. Oh, come on, man. You have nothing for me still. No, you quiet. Take this outside, and then we can do our last lap of the interior. We're right there. Let's do the lap. Let's do the cleaning lap. It is. Totally pristine, chat. This place is good. 
Oh, yeah. Wait. Yep, clean. Immaculate. Even. How about trash? Well, trash is sort of subjective in this game. Like, it thinks all this is trash, and I sort of disagree. Like, it doesn't think this is trash, I don't think. And the gun's apparently not trash. I don't know. I'm gonna have to bring another wastebasket out, though, because we, we do have to get those cans quick. The cans? They gotta go. The cans are trash. I know that for sure. The rest, I think it's up for debate. But the cans are sure. I'm not happy, but I'm not gonna comment on it because I'd be enabling the machine if I talked about it, so I'm not gonna. We're gonna ignore that. I'd be enabling the ma Is there meat in this? No fucking way is there meat in this right now. You came for a ride, huh? It's fine, no, it's fine. Come along, it's fine, no problem. Came with free meat. It's whatever. It doesn't matter. The vase is definitely not trash. I can tell you that for sure. I think the boxes are trash. I think these are trash. What am I doing? Why am I doing it like this? What was that sound? Whatever, this is full. Uh, let's bring this over and get it dumped. And then we can bring another one over and grab whatever is still left. That might need to be dumped out. Wow, that is fire. Okay. Did I hear footsteps? No, nah, that's me talking. That's me walking. I'm the only guy on this server, so I, I do know that no one, no one has followed my grim fire. Hang on, someone... Anyway, let me check chat. Oh, okay. Never mind. Just need to check something. Hey, don't panic. Don't panic. Everything's cool. Put the knives down. I was reading a message from a friend. If I was banning you, you'd be hearing more about it. Is this, what is it? That's a candle. I don't think that's garbage. Hang on, hang on. Nose activated. Candles are not trash. Boxes are not trash. Uh-oh. All this is clean. Wait a minute. These ain't trash. Cans are. And there are more cans out front. Okay. Does he know how the detector works? Not specifically, but I mean, um, I don't really care. Yeah, that's the best answer. Uh, this hi, uh, this is Viscera cleanup detail. It sorta doesn't. None of it matters. Hi. Uh, so I'm sorta just like playing it by ear, and figuring it out as I go. Cause um, if someone were to try to backseat me in Viscera cleanup detail, I think I would ban them on site without parole instantly. Yes. Yeah. Use mop on head. You guys want? I am not doing this there. I don't think I have the fucking energy in me to clean this zone, guys. Like, this is... This is the bad scene. I don't think I want to do the crypt yet. I think that is a one-way ticket to, um, headache. I think we go inside the house now and we start cleaning some of the main building. That's a bad fucking omen, ain't it? Ain't it? Ain't it? It's a bad fucking stalling? Hi chat, the whole game is mopping! By simply walking around, I'm essentially not stalling. Like, it's not, it's a mopping game. We'll do the garage. We'll, gar we'll do the garage now. Wait, I forgot about the ID cards. I need, I need a basket so I can carry the both of them. Hang on. That, I do.
do want to do before I forget. That's important. When do we level up? We already leveled up. We just did it right now. Isn't that epic? We just leveled up, ladies and gentlemen. Now we get a new special ability called... Uh, chat, chat's nice today. That's, that's the thing. So now you guys have to be nice because I just, I just slotted in that ability in your perk list. I gotta be nice. To each other. And to me. No. Okay, well, this is an early access stream, so, uh, it, there are gonna be some bugs. Naturally, obviously, there's gonna be some bugs. Not everyone's gonna be able to be nice. It fell out. No, it fucking didn't. Where are my IDs? <laughs> Where are they? Where are the two of them? There were two. And now they're both gone. We're never finding them. If they're not in the house right now. Why are they? Whatever. One at a time. We'll do it one at a fucking time. You missed a flooded blood, a faded blood spot in the basement of cabin. You added me to say that, huh? You don't think I'm gonna do a lap of everything later? You added me to tell me that? That I missed a spot? You got anything else you wanna say? You got any other, like, big advice? Now's your chance, you're in front of everyone now. I've, I've, I've grabbed you and I'll put you up in front of the stage. You got something to say? Chat's cheering. They've never been more excited. Whoa, whoa, say something else. Got any other ideas? Hmm? Excuse me, streamer. There is still a mess in the house. That is true. That is true. I think I'm good. Okay, good. Well, I think you're bad. I think you suck. All right, there we go. I'm sorry I had to do it to you. Yeah, I uh, know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Chat, shut up. <laughs> chat, shut up. You, you guys are, you guys, I, I've told you guys a thousand times I got this chat on text to speech. You talk too quickly, I can't fucking hear anything. It's just like it's screaming in my ear. Oh, I forgot how messy the fucking garage was. Okay, knife is definitely garbage. Okay, I need, I need a bucket. I mean, buckets are right here, so this is gonna be a really fast clean today. Over here. And I need a waste basket. Let's get this stuff cleaned. Wait, does garbage count as garbage? Hang on. Yes. I guess it would be in my best interest to toss out literal garbage. That's probably the most obvious thing to throw. <laughs> I guess in the context of cleaning as a janitor, this is the most, this is the best freebie I'll ever get in the whole game. Is actually dumping the trash. In. What's this? Demons among us. My fellow warriors of God, your children are in danger, your lives are in danger, your souls are in danger. Amongst us walk the devil and his minions. They roam our neighborhood preying on the innocent. I say enough. Let God abolish them. Let Christ exercise them. We have, must have faith. Pray with me. Fight with me. Send the demons from your heart. Drive out the evildoers in your neighborhood. You know who they are. I got a local Fortnite uh, eSport player uh, about two blocks down from me. Uh, I know he's up to something. Uh, we know he's up to something over there. I don't trust it as far as I can throw it. Christian stream now? It's always been a Christian stream. Okay, chat? My stream has always had a, a hard underlying theme of Christian ideology. I am, of course, part of the uh, Christ Network. Shout out to Jesus. Hell yeah. Where's VeggieTales stream, my man? I did not believe it when I heard it. Because I didn't know when I was a kid. 
And we found out, like, in the last, like, five years that Veggie Tales was, like, all god shit. And, like, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't realize in the middle of Veggie Tales they were, like, yelling fucking quotes from the Bible and shit. I guess they did it super well. Dude, I just can't believe Cucumber, that son of a bitch, was into Jesus. I mean, it's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's just, I didn't know. Attend church together every Sunday, find salvation. Yeah, no, that's where, that's where, uh, that's where church always lost me, dude. It was, um, it wasn't any part of it in particular other than the I have to invest a day of my life every week to something at all. Uh, that was enough to, that was enough to take me out of almost anything. Tell me to do that now, I'm pretty much out, like, in anything. Oh, yeah, you have to be there every week. Every, every, a day every week. Oh, a day every week. I, uh, I gotta, uh, no, I can't do that this week, or ever, anymore. Alright, it's time. You can do it in Zoom now. Alright, shut up. <laughs> Alright, uh, pastor, thank you for the fucking advice, thank you for the in there. Um, I'm still busy, okay? Can you leave me alone now? I'm still busy, I've still got stuff going on. It being on Zoom changes nothing, sir. I'm sorry. Uh, is this a ascended bloodstain? There we go. Wait, you're trash, ain't you? Are you trash? Hang on. You're trash. Where's my wastebasket? Didn't I grab one? I didn't. I need that. I forgot about it. You guys distracted me as you as you do. Michael, it blinked. It definitely didn't. <laughs> I can tell you that, like, in-game and out-of-game. Uh, it definitely didn't blink, and it's definitely going right in the garbage. <laughs> like the rest of it. Uh, kitchen knives. Knives, look, knives are bad, and they're going in the trash. Toilet paper. That's a treasure. That doesn't, that's not trash. That's a treasure. That stays right there where it belongs. Awful lot of knives. Knives are bad. Knives belong in the trash. Now firearms! Now if I saw a fucking nice shotgun on one of these shells, maybe we keep that around. That's an American right. You know what I'm saying, You have a shotgun. I know, but we could have eight more or nine more. Ain't nothing against me keeping another eight or nine shotguns just in case I feel like it. Alright, I need to move this. Hang on. Give. Can I open this? Can I not? Look, lady. Stop squirming. You're really gonna... I, if you leave a mess on this fucking door... Please. Ah, it's like Operation, dude. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Never understood cheerleading, dude. Always freaked me out. We had a cheerleading team at my school. It just freaked me out. Like, I didn't get it. I actually like did not get it. Like I was just like, I, maybe I didn't get it because they were ne like for a team of cheerleaders, they were extremely like they, <laughs> they were they were like a fucking enigma. Like no one ever knew where they were. Like I asked like the fucking like I asked our teams and stuff for like soccer, which was like the big thing at my school was like the soccer teams. I'd be like, where are they? And, like everyone's like, we don't know. <laughs> We don't know where they're cheering, but they ain't cheering here. <laughs> they're not anywhere near our games. Like, we've never seen them. Ever. They're not here. They're, they're doing something, but we didn't. <laughs> football, we didn't have a football team at my school. We had a really nice uh, soccer field. Football. Or foot. Uh, or European bullshit ball, if you prefer. Sorry, chat. I'm just going to call it what it was at my school for consistency's sake. We don't know where they ever went. We asked them one time, and the person we asked fucking ran. Like, actually was like, I gotta go. Like, they ran. They ran away, and we chased them. And they ran faster than us, which was a shocker. Very surprising. And then they did, like, a fucking a really impressive, like, vault. 
and then stuck the landing and then did a quick cheer and then scampered off uh, through the vents like an, like a xenomorph. And uh, yeah, that was when we stopped asking so many questions about the cheerleading team because um, we didn't want to know anymore. God, dude, I was like always so pissed off at my high school because like I missed, I was like, I came into my high school like a year too early, dude, because like usually you didn't have time to do multiple sports in high school. And like my school was some backwards ass bullshit, dude. All right. They had girls volleyball, but they didn't have vo boys volleyball. All right. This actually pissed me off because I love volleyball. I think volleyball is one of the most fun sports out there. Like genuinely, like fun factor wise. They didn't have boys volleyball in my school till I was like a junior. And by then, all right, I, when you're a junior, you don't usually take on more things, okay? Your plate, your plate usually doesn't get more full junior year, okay? Junior year is usually when you're, like, capping it, okay? And you're saying, I don't have any more time. Like, I gotta, like, find, I got, like, fucking college to worry about now and shit. Like, and, like, they added fucking boys volleyball junior year and, like, a bunch of my friends started doing it because, like, volleyball is fun as shit. <laughs> like, that's just a fun fucking game. Like, I don't have many sports that... I didn't play soccer because it was fun, all right? Let me put that out there. I didn't play a lot of soccer because it was fun. I played it because I was pretty good at it. Like, and at that... And I felt like I had to play a sport in high school. I Like, genuinely, that's why I did it. I did track because it was fun to hang out with everyone. And it was a good way to stay in shape. But I didn't play soccer because it was fun. I played it because I felt like I needed something to put on my college applications. So playing soccer for three years is a pretty good thing to put on it. I think that's honestly the reason a lot of people do a lot of things in high school is because they want to put it on their application. But man, volleyball is so much fucking fun. And I got so angry that they only, like, I never understood why it was only, like, literally, it should, like, it's not, like, a sport for, like, a specific gender. I didn't ever understand why it was only girls volleyball in my high school. It actually was, like, really weird to me. Because I don't know if it's the case in other people's high schools. But, like, in mine, it was girls only. And, like, I got angry. <laughs> I did not like that rule because I thought volleyball was fucking fun. It's weird. Is it the same thing that you're playing? Why is that, dude? It's pretty common. That's stupid, dude. Volleyball is fun. I don't think. I don't think there's any sport that should be. Oh, uh, uh, it's only a girls' team. Like it should be. It should be whatever fucking whoever wants to play it. You know, like that's dumb. Soccer was fun to play, boring to watch. Oh yeah, I fucking cannot watch soccer. I can't watch football, soccer, any. I can watch like American football, but that's because, uh, that's mainly because of the culture around it, more so than the actual game itself. People say hockey's really fun to watch, but I can't fucking see that. Chat, <laughs> let's talk about hockey for a minute, all right? I had a lot of friends that were into hockey, and I watched a couple of hockey games. Like, I went to hockey games with those friends because we, like, played band, and sometimes those hockey games would have us go to their fucking game and play it like a song in like the lobby while people were coming in and shit like fun that's whatever we get to watch hockey after uh hey uh wouldn't for the life of, they could honestly be making it up as they go <laughs> out there okay i feel like they do in general but like i don't know once that once the puck gets dropped to the ice that thing is basically not in this dimension anymore i've lost it it's gone that's gone man is everything in here clean did i get it all let's do a sniff round that thing's gone. Has any, I feel like no one has ever seen a hockey puck in movement before. Okay. How do you feel about baseball though? Hey. You got any other stupid fucking sports you wanna talk about, man? You wanna talk about pickleball next? Let's talk about pickleball next. Baseball is the fucking stupidest, most boring piece of shit sport ever. It only exists because people demand it to continue to exist, okay? It fucking sucks. It's boring to watch. It's even more boring to play. It's stupid. There is mess in these halls. I think it's on the car. It's fun to play. Normally, I'd say agree to disagree, but I cannot believe you, and I refuse to accept your uh, opinion. Yes. Can I not open this garage door? There's just tr there's like dirt here. I don't know where it is. Chat, help me. 
There's a mess, but I cannot find it. It may just not exist. It may be like on the other side of the wall. It's probably in the house. Cricket's more interesting. <laughs> Are you sure? Are you sure? Tennis. All right, here's my sport. Here is my sports list by fun factor when I play it with friends from top to bottom, okay? Most fun, volleyball. Second most fun, tennis slash badminton. I put these two in the same fucking thing because come on, one's just a heavier ball and has one less player sometimes. All right, I, I, I just put those in the same fucking thing because like, uh, it don't matter. Uh, both of them are very fun. Uh, okay, uh, third, football, American football. Uh, genuinely, when I've played that with friends, it's always been a lot of fun, especially if everyone is prepared to get the same amount of incredibly violent or not violent over it, and everyone accepts a, sing a singular level of intensity. But everyone has to be on the same page or it sucks, because if one guy is playing like a psycho and everyone else is playing touch, and this guy is fucking careening through people like an asshole, it's not fun anymore. It's gotta be, everyone's gotta be on the same page. Ping pong? I don't put, chat ping pong in a sport, sorry. <laughs> We're talking about, I know badminton's about as far away from the sports thing as I'm willing to go, sorry. Ping pong is a, is a table game. Sorry, it's an Olympic sport. Yeah, but the Olympics is wrong. Sorry, again, I don't want to do this to you, but they're wrong. That's a, that's a, you're playing with a little fucking dinky, uh, ping pong ball. That's stupid. Dodgeball? Dodgeball just has, bo dodgeball is not a sport. It, it, this isn't. We're talking games that people would come to, like, fucking see you play. Badminton's barely even in here, okay? I should have even mentioned that one, because it brought it all... Yeah, foosball! Don't worry about all the fucking sticks! Foosball! Shut up. Okay, we're talking real fucking games here. Bowling. Okay. Bowling might be the most fun one to play in a group. Because it is... Bowling might be my favorite to play with a group of friends like in general. Bowling's a good time. Bowling's a spicy fucking sport, dude. Polo. Mark? No, no, I almost walked into that one. Almost fucking... Almost took the easiest joke of 2020. It wasn't even a joke, it just be saying a statement. No, polo's nothing, because specifically I haven't played it, so I have no opinion on it. Darts? Stop right there, sir. You're committing a crime. Asking me to play darts is asking me to kill a man, okay? I've never played that. I don't play... You see, here's something in common with all these games, chat. Um, most of them don't involve throwing. I don't play quarterback in football if I was playing with friends, okay? I ain't throwing. <laughs> I'm catching. I can catch. Great. I have awesome catching skills. Ask me to throw something? You will never see that again. Ever. Whatever's in my hand is leaving this plane forever, okay? My fucking poor gym teachers know, all right? When I was in high school, they deliberately fucking would let me not play. Like, they would find reasons to not have me play throwing games because they knew I would lose their balls, okay? They deliberately were like, you don't have to throw it. And I'm like, oh, thanks. They'd be like, they just knew. Everyone knew. Everyone knew. I was very good at catching. I was good at running. I was good at almost everything else. But if it came to throwing something, the only thing I could throw well was a dodgeball. And the only place I could position that dodgeball to land was directly square on someone's nose. And that's why people were, like, scared of me in dodgeball. <laughs> it's the only time I could throw well. And it was specifically the ball. I would, chat, I would throw the dodgeball so hard they would curve up. To hit people in the nose. <laughs> okay. Like, I would aim for people's, like... I would try to compensate the curve up by aiming for their fucking grundle and hope it hit them in the stomach or chest. But it would curve up so sharp from my throws that it would curve to their nose and they would fall over and I would get... It wouldn't count. The out wouldn't count because if you hit him in the face, it doesn't count. It was, it was rough. It was a rough time in my life. Because, um, everyone was, like, scared of me <laughs> in dodgeball, specifically. <laughs> Every other game, they were, like, they would laugh at me. Oh, you're playing a game with, like, a frisbee involved? I guess I should leave the fucking field and get into the road. 
They would actually do that. They would joke around. They'd try to, like, climb the fences into the fucking road. And, like, the gym teachers would laugh because they all know it's probably where it's going. I would throw frisbees out of the fucking field we were playing and into the goddamn street. It's just normally how it would play out. I couldn't throw. I wasn't a thrower. I just wasn't. What about golf? I could golf. Chat. All right, one, first of all, professional mini golfer. I could literally defeat any of you in a mini golf game. It wouldn't be a fight, it would be an execution, Chet. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to comprehend how badly you get destroyed in mini golf against me, okay? So you don't wanna see me in mini golf. Uh, actual golf, I've only driving, I've only been on the driving range. I, I genuinely haven't played a real round of golf, like real golf. I've driving ranged quite a bit because I find uh, golf driving range to be very relaxing, but I haven't played a real round of golf. So I wouldn't be able to say that. You must be good at throwing CDs then. Look, we're talking distance. I can throw anything an incredible distance. The problem is I can't aim. I can't aim my throw check. That's the problem. I can't, I can't fucking pinpoint that angle. But I can bowl pretty mean. Billiards? I've actually, I can billiards well if I'm fucking unbelievably drunk. I have thrown down with people in billiards and I've won. But I've had to be totally smashed out of my goddamn mind. I'm gonna close this door because this place is clean. Wait, can I pick this up? This will be a good chance for me to check the roof and everything for dirt real quick. Actually, I might take this with me. This is pretty fucking helpful. Yeah, we're gonna keep this with us. This will be helpful in dark rooms. Yeah, that's great. Okay, garage is done. You don't hurl the bowling ball down the lane like a baseball, you roll it. I, Chet, okay, two confessions here. How about basketball? Basketball is the fucking awful, like one of the worst for me. I don't think it's a bad sport in general. I have, n I have never played it for real because whenever I play it, I break a finger. I'm not joking. That's actually not like me doing a bit or me exaggerating. Whenever I play basketball, I break my pinky. Every time. How? I don't know. You tell me. Because every time, my fucking, my gym teachers were very cool. And I liked them a lot. My gym teachers were great in high school. And after the after my sophomore year, two years in a row of breaking my finger in basketball, when like the season would come around to play basketball, like the winter would come around, everyone played basketball in gym because it was like an indoor sport. Um, my teacher would tell me I could sit it out if I wanted. I'm not even joking. I would get full marks for the for the day. Everyone, I had the same gym class for four years in a row because of band, because band had the same gym class every year in my school, and my teachers would let me sit out gym class. Uh, because they didn't want me to break my fucking finger again. And I happily took that. <laughs> I had study hall instead. And it was nice. Weak pinky. Chat. Like, my pinky has never been the same. It still has a slant on it. Like, it's actually, like, no fucking joke. You can see a, like, mild three or four degree angle of slant on my goddamn finger. It's a pretty hefty slant. It turns quite a bit to the fucking, like, away from my other fingers. It doesn't hurt. I can bend it totally fine, but, like, it's sort of fucked. Wait, Tomato likes teachers now? I had very few bad experiences with my teachers. I always had good teachers. I always had good experiences. I had, like, one teacher that I had a shitty experience with, and he was, like, old. So I chalked it up to him being old. You know? These knives are going in the garbage. Knives? No more. Knives are a bad scene. They only cause problems. All knives are being thrown in the fucking bin. What's in this room? Hallways. Man, this actually, this house might not take that long to clean on the interior. All right, that's normal. Oh, there's also more knives in here. <laughs> There's many knives. 
like can't bend in the middle. No, it bends fine. It's just like a little tilted. If you've broken something enough times, you'll see that happen. Like it just doesn't heal properly all the time. And like at a certain point, chat, it was so routine for me, and I knew most of the time whenever I would break them, my doctor wouldn't even give me like a cast. He would just fucking give me like one of those really big splint things. So like I already had the splint still. When it happened like the third, like the third time in a row, I was just like, I'm just gonna fucking put the split back on. I'm just like. I don't need to go to a doctor so they can tell me what I already know. And then tell me to put on the thing I already have, you know? And it just didn't... It didn't ever heal, like, correctly, I guess. But it's not, like, a problem. I can't not... I, I can use my fucking finger. I use my pinky for all the needs of a pinky. I don't really... Frankly, I don't really need my pinky very often, aside from looking fancy. I, I'm one of those... Chat... Right, when you drink water, what do you do? Like, drink, got a cup in your hand. When you drink it, is pinky out? You pinky out? My brain autopilots to pinky out. My pinky's touching something, it feels wrong. I pinky out. A little bit, not a bunch. But it almost, it feels genuinely alien to me to have my pinky touch it. Pinky out, baby. Ew. Someone said ew to etiquette. Get that guy and set him up on a nice table with all the regular silverware that we have. A salad fork, a soup fork. Um, egg knife, put them all down, get a real sp nice spread for him, then grab his face and slam it into the plate until it smashes the plate. Yeah. Yeah. Soup fork? Yeah. Chat, broth is poisonous. Wait, you drink the broth? Johnny, we've left money in the pantry for you. Remember to call us straight away if Jason or Danielle try to reach us. In case something goes wrong at the Crystal Lake summer camp. We'll try to be back on Monday, like we said, but your father wants to make full use of our anniversary package. So it could be Tuesday. We'll call ahead if plans change. We set up a bedroom in the attic for you. Look after the house, be good, and no parties. Love, Mom. Oh, and your father says stay away from the cellar or you'll, see, you'll never see that girl, Gianna, again. Please listen to your father this time. Okay. I already went in the cellar. I saw that the deal was down there. It wasn't good. Trash, broken cups. Man, it's always such a mess in here, man. Is that a body? James Nelson, huh? Sad what happened to James. Really, it is. Why'd I close this? I could go in and out of here like a thousand times now. There we go. Spork is pug. Sporks are underrated and it pisses me off that the fucking... That everyone thinks they're made for kids when sporks, dude. I wish I had sporks in my house because I would fucking go to town on a goddamn spork every day, baby. Every day. Man, I would fucking destroy a spork, man. Like, while well, using it to eat, basically. How? What do you mean? You don't understand anything about anything. You think that the sporks don't have a genuine value in society. This was a messy body to extract. That was a rough extraction. Okay. Please? Please. Is this a stain? That's a stain, all right. It just made a big fucking mess. Look, chat, I'm of the mindset that everything, every utensil in the world needs to be like eight times bigger, all right? Like, spoons ain't big enough. I, I haven't seen a fucking spoon that was big enough for me, man. All right, I'm being honest. Like, I haven't, I spent a lot of time in the spoon game, okay? And so far, unimpressed by the spoons I've seen, okay? I could use a larger spoon. I don't have all the spoons in my house are made for like small people. Well, they don't they don't handle the amount of fucking real estate in my mouth. Okay. Shovels are nice. Yeah, that's exactly dude. Look, I don't need shovel size. I just need larger than fucking like this is like these are spoons made for babies, alright? And I've told my family this before, and they say, why don't you buy a new spoon? Why don't you buy more spoons? I'm like, well, if I bought a new spoon, you wouldn't learn anything. And I don't buy a new spoon. It's been that way for fucking 18 years now. Get soup spoons. Soup spoons are pretty good, dude. 
I've seen people, I know people that drink soup. Yeah, eat soup. Is it technically, soup is technically drinking, right? You're just drinking slowly. Okay. All right, has anyone else ever had like fucking soup and they actually, cause this is, this is like, this is the one that's gonna fucking freak you guys out, all right? I've had soup and I've in front of other people in a big pot of soup, ladled it into a large cup and just consumed it out of a cup multiple times. Like this goes, this is, this goes all the way to the intensity of chicken noodle in some, in some situations. Okay. That's normal. Like I, I, I will go all the way to chicken noodle on the cup game when it comes to soup. That's a sin. I disagree. I think I'm gaming at a higher level than you. I think I'm living at a higher level than you. Like you are weaker than me if you don't do that is what I'm trying to say. Like it's convenience, it's portability, it's everything. And I think more people should be doing it. And I don't see it, you know? This is actually fun. Come on, this got, all right, it's just gone. I was gonna put that on a shelf, it's gone now. I actually drink cereal. Well, I don't eat cereal because cereal is a subpar food in general that sucks. So we're not going to agree on that one. But the soup stew. Look, chat. I, let me make it clear. I got like a stew. Like I got something with a lot of fucking mass to it that like when you pour it, it like sort of sludges. If it's a sludge basically because the stew is that thick, I don't drink that. Like I'm not going to fucking put a... I'm not gonna put like chili in a goddamn cup and like go to town on chili in a cup. If I do that, feel free to call the police. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna get upset if you call the police because I fucking like drank chili out of a cup. You can feel free on that one, you know? I'm sorry to report your son Jason has been implicated in another unusual accident at the school. This is the third time now I can no longer give you the benefit of the doubt that the other students are simply lying. The hurting of fellow students in defacement of school property with disturbing imagery will not be tolerated. Please see your son's discipline. Jack Nichols. Okay. I drink stew. I mean, that's fine. I mean, I don't... I think at a certain thickness, it's irresponsible. Like, honestly, that's sort of why I don't do it. Uh, stew is at the point where you have to process that thing. Look, chat. Okay. Here's the rule, here's my private cup rule when it comes to soups and things that you can drink out of a cup. If you have to uphold, if you have to hold it in place and sort of go like, like trying to pull it into your mouth because it's got that much resistance, put that shit in a fucking bowl. You've reached, you've reached the, the chili density, okay? You know? If it's viscous and fighting you, you can't drink, you can't do that anymore. If you have to, if you're like worried people are going to look at you because you're doing this, like you got to stop, okay? How am I going to get this body the fuck out of here? I should just take it out the front door. Yeah, that's smarter. Yeah, way smarter. Sounds like stew to me, and stew is a... Is a spoon food. I disagree. Some spoon, some stews. Look, some stews. Let's be honest. A good stew, yes, requires a spoon because it is that thick. But some people mis, uh, misprepare their stews. I've had many people that have made many bad stews, and my idea of a bad stew is it's runny. Just runny? Why is this stew liquid? Why has it got liquid in it? This should be a solid. All right. At that point, that's cup. That's cup tier. Okay. That's a soup. You tried to make a stew. It's okay. You fucked it up. You blew it. So now I gotta drink it out of a cup. Okay? That's not their fault. Sometimes stuff goes wrong. I've had recipes that I've made that have gone terribly wrong. And I've had to freestyle alternative solutions. That's, that is a fucking important quality to have as a chef. I guess not a chef, but like a general cook. You know? Well, it's a cheerleader. We finally found one. I like to think the cheerleading team from my high school is still in the vents. Just hiding, biding their time. 
for the big game that will never come. Opinion on Gumbo. Uh, here's my opinion on Gumbo. Uh, name sucks. Uh, and that name alone has stopped me from eating it because I think of Gumby. I don't want to eat Gumby. So I've never eaten it. I've literally never had Gumbo because the name sucks. And um, I think of Gumby. And I want to hurt Gumby. Uh, actually, that's not even a joke. That's genuinely why I haven't ever eaten it. You think I'm lying. You think this is a bit. And you're wrong. This is real life, motherfucker. In real life. Real life, I'm afraid to eat gumbo because I don't want to hurt Gumby. Man. Because me and Gumby, we're friends, man. I actually only know Gumby by his name. I've never watched any. Really, man? How many more bodies am I going to have to... I should really have gotten rid of all the bodies before I started doing the cleaning, because these bodies just track blood everywhere. You're too young to have watched Gumby. Wrong? Uh, that's wrong. Also, simultaneously, it's called the internet. Hi, welcome. Well, you're no longer too young or too old to have seen anything, because the internet exists now, and things don't disappear anymore. Things aren't just taken away. They exist forever in perpetuity until the internet shuts down. Guys, what if tomorrow we just get a call and it's just like, it literally just says, hey, internet's shutting down, we're done. It's over. We're wrapping it up. It was a good run, the internet, but uh, we're sick of it now. It's taking a lot of time. It's a lot of upkeep time. God, dude. I was thinking about it earlier. You know how like, they're trying to ban TikTok in the US? Imagine being someone who made their career on TikTok. I cannot fucking imagine that. What if, like, fucking one day the government's just like, hey, so we're uh, banning Twitch from the U.S. Uh, forever. It's gone. Like, put yourself in there in, like, someone else's shoes and think about your entire platform from which you exist to make your living is suddenly banned in the country that you live in. Isn't that, in isn't that fucking wild? That's some crazy shit. That's some, that's good. This is good. This is good. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. It's all starting to come together. It's coming together. This place. Hell of a thing. Yeah, it is a hell of a thing, isn't it? No, God, I was about to have the worst sneeze of my fucking life, but it went away, like, instantly. It knew. It knows. Chatter. Damn, lots of dead people in this fucking... Dude. Parties suck. <laughs> I, like... I, I don't know. I guess I'm, like, sort of an introvert when it comes to stuff. I fucking hate parties, dude. I've never been a party guy. I can like, I can go to a party. I it's just like, I've never. I've enjoyed parties, but I've enjoyed the part where I'm very drunk and barely can process what the fuck is around me. Part. And that's not a responsible thing to do. All right, and I don't encourage doing what I do. But um, if I'm going to a party, you better fucking expect. I'm expecting free drinks. And a men and a large amount of them because holy hell, dude, you need a lot to keep me around. All right, I am an expensive presence at a at a party, okay? Specifically because the second that there's a moment of silence where I don't have an immediate person to talk to in that party to keep me distracted, to keep the introvert side of me from being totally like in control, uh, I'm out. Like I will I will glide immediately to the exit and I will be in an Uber in the next thirty seconds, like. I, I'm just that kind of guy like you have to keep me fucking perfectly distracted Because like the second I'm not and I've got a moment of silence to myself in a party. I'm like I gotta go dude This is not me anymore, dude. I gotta book it. I got a boogie This place is a fucking mess No one cleans after themselves You go into the public well when I go to like conventions and stuff back when those were allowed <laughs> back before 
it happened, uh, as we like to call it, the apocalypse. Ah, uh, yes, I would go to parties. Specifically, industry parties, where I was given free drinks. And people would try to, and I quote, network. <laughs> that was a scary term. That's a buzzword for you guys. People would try to network with you. And that was the worst. And I definitely remember multiple times when I was drunk. I wasn't a mean drunk. I'm not a mean drunk. I'm sort of a blunt drunk. I, 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 and it's not like me saying I'm mean to people while I'm drunk. It's just like, I'd be like, hey, this sucks. Let's do something else. Like, instead, like, and someone's trying to, like, fucking, like, give me their fucking, like, social media details. And I'd just be like, yo, let's not, can we not do this? Dude. <laughs> At the party, please. Like, I don't fucking, this would happen. People would, like, give you your fucking, they'd be like, here's my card. I'd be like, I'm gonna lose this. And be, like, yelling over, like, music. I'm gonna lose this. This is definitely not coming with me out of this party. The amount of people, the amount of cards I have of people I don't even fucking remember meeting. Dude. Awful many. Awful lot. I don't know. That was mainly, like, earlier in going to conventions and stuff. When I, like, grew up a little bit more. Like, I think a lot of that was, like, the buzz of, like, you know, YouTube and, like, you know, coming off of high school and stuff. Me wanting to do shit like that. Because once I got, like, older, I was much more content hanging out with, like, four or five friends at a bar. Like, the same day of a party. Just be like, fuck that. That's stupid. Hanging out with friends is, like, a thousand times more fun. And being around, like, a thousand people you don't know and two people you do know and yelling over fucking... Yelling over the goddamn music to even hear someone, dude. There's nothing there. That's not worth it. Man, this house is looking pretty fucking good if I do say so myself, man. Look at this place. Come on, chat. You gotta give me some credit. I'm cleaning it better than you thought I would clean it. Oh, yeah. This house is getting mighty clean. Matter of fact, this whole living room is literally completely clean, though. Damn, man. I'm actually cleaning this place pretty fucking quick. It's a lot of clothes, like, very small interiors, so it's not that hard to pick up. Plate. This is technically not trash. I'm gonna put this on the plate shelf. Good physics. You gotta remember, chat. This game was made in 20 fucking 13. This game is old. This game is like 80 years old in gamer terms, dude. And I'd say it's still kicking. I'd say this game still got it. You know? Small interior. I mean in the sense that, like, the last level I played, Advanced Ro- Like, Super Duper Maximum Robotics, chat. That game had, like, gargantuan interiors. Like, huge, sprawling fucking, like, arenas. In comparison to that, this is much smaller. This is a body. Yeah. Another body? Excellent. Thanks. Thanks. Meat dispenser. Bro, I fucking hate that these chairs keep knocking over. It's starting to get me angry. Please. Please? Thank you. Let's just finish this. Let's just finish the living room. Man, something in this direction is lagging the game out. Something fierce. I don't know what it is, but whenever I look that way, it gets much worse. Please. And the living room is clean as the day it was made. Bada bing, bada bam. Oh yeah. What's the next room on our list? Pretty sure this is an empty closet. Yep. Okay, nothing to worry about there. This is the basement. Okay. The entire first floor chat is clean. Oh. 
all clean. Uh, oh, uh, uh, be, 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 be. Okay. Uh, be, 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 boo boo. Where's this leaking from? Oh. Then I'd do it. Okay. Oh, please. Thank you. Dude, yo, chat. Vases are fucking stupid. Yeah? I did this is another is this another good take? Vases are fucking stupid. Okay. Just wanna make sure. I think they're dumb. I think I honestly chat. I'm one of the, I would dare call myself a minimalist when it comes to stuff I like having in my house. If my ideal living room, get rid of all this bullshit. Sofa, TV, stand for the TV. And maybe a lamp. Rest of it can get the fuck out. It doesn't matter. Get it all the hell out of here. We don't need any of it. It's just in the way. I don't need a bunch of stuff catching dust, you know? Your gra my grandmother is in a vase. Jeez, man. Having, like... This is gonna sound, like, a little weird, but, like, having, like, someone's ashes in a vase always spooks me, because, like, what if I fucking one day trip? <laughs> this sounds fucked up, but, like, I don't... I, I really hope that when someone wants me to put a, make, like, cremate them... They tell me scatter my ashes in like the behind like the fucking dumpster like next to like the fucking supermarket or something because like I I can do that and I won't have to worry about spilling you later you know like you're there now like good we took care of it but <laughs> you know tell me you want to be cremated and then like fucking tossed into like the runoff pipe going out to, like, the river nearby. Like, that's fine. Leave me behind the Kmart, you know? Like, whatever. Like, I just don't want to fucking trip. Put my hands out to grab something, and it's grandma, and then, like, grandma's fucking ashes are everywhere, and I'm breathing in grandma, and then I'm throwing up. Like, you know, then I'm fucking throwing up everywhere. I've got, like, I got vacuum up grandma. You know, like, that's fucking awful. You can seal them shut, Chet. Let's assume that when I trip, it's a violent trip, and I smash the fucking vase. Cause here's the problem with vases, chat. They shatter. These are these are fucking ceram. They're ceramic. All right, look at this. That's me tripping with my grandmother's ashes by accident. And now there's ashes everywhere, and I gotta call a fucking guy to clean it up. That's awful. I don't want that to happen to Granny. You know, Grand Grand. Didn't even make it to the ground. Like, uh, chat, I feel like, I feel like this is a genuine concern you've all had. If you've had, like, ashes in your house, and yes, it's a grim subject, but it, I think it's a true, I think I genuinely, you guys know it to be true. When you have ashes in your house of someone, you are deeply concerned about, you're not concerned it's gonna happen, but you think about, what if it does? But what if there's, like, a, what if something jostles that spot and it shatters? I then have to fucking actually, like, sweep up the fucking remains of my dead fucking relative into a, like, a broom sweep. <laughs> we use this to fucking sweep up dust off of the ground and, like, animal shit, chat. I don't want to fucking, I don't want to fucking sweep my... I need like a, a nice one for that. I need a nice mop and broom for that. And I don't have one of those. I don't want one. I want one in my house, dude. They gotta, I gotta fucking tell, I gotta tell my fucking folks that when they die, they're getting thrown into like a goddamn toilet or something. <laughs> they gotta fucking either tell me to put them up on a very like secure place and like a fucking safe or they gotta tell me toilet's okay because anything else I'm gonna get a little spooked the whole time, dude. Like genuinely. I, <laughs> I, I, I just don't feel comfortable with that, you know? Trash. It's probably trash. I will leave it leaned up here. Tomato doesn't own a vacuum confirmed. Chat. If you have to fucking. All right. Here's the thing. I feel like in saying I have to vacuum up my dead grandpa's fucking corpse ashes into this goddamn Roomba. I have to order this Roomba here to vacuum up my grand grand's goddamn ashes. At that point, I feel like you immediately 
activate a darkest dungeon heart attack stress check. Okay, that's uh, that is a fucking statement that immediately sends you into a hundred stress situation and your body starts to break down in real time. Like if you have to fucking say that, you're you're dead. You're as good as dead. Like you're, it's over, man. Jack Bacon. Get him dumped. You know it to be true. You know it to be true. Also, you'd have to toss out the Roomba. Ad yes, yes. Honestly, this is the second thing: is that whenever you look at that Roomba or vacuum or broom again, you have to say, "Yeah, that was used to sweep up my dead relative." That's good. Well, I gotta throw this out now. And then you're losing $20. Then you're out 20, okay? There's no win. There's no way that this works out for you. Tell your parents to pick a tech. Tell everyone, all right, that you think is eventually you're gonna have to deal with this. Look, that's, a, that's how life is, Chad. Eventually this is gonna happen. You need to make sure that they have established a good dump spot early, okay? Make sure it's early. You gotta confirm it. You need to confirm this is a good dump spot, okay? Find a dump spot. Even if it's a dump. Say the dump's nice. Pick out, pick out a dump spot. Okay. Even if you have to explain, look, I don't want to have to sweep you up later. That's going to, don't, maybe don't explain it like that. Because that's going to spook them. That's going to make them panic. <laughs> first date, first date conversation. Dude, all right. Look, I feel like as a conversationalist, I would be kick-ass at dates, chat. <laughs> I feel like I feel like as far as it goes for like bringing an interesting conversation to a first date, I'm like up there in the top ten. You know, I got some fucking. I can fucking. You want to talk? I got some stuff to talk about, baby. You know what I'm saying? We can talk about stuff. You want to talk about stuff? We can talk about stuff. I got stuff to talk about. I open these doors. Zero dates tomato. I've actually never been. I have had, I have had relationships and I've had girlfriends, but I have never been on a fucking literal. Let's go on a date. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think that's ever been like a. Let's go on a first date. This is how we're meeting. You know, like like that genuine like this is our first date. Like that never happened. You know. That I don't know. There's something. There's something very antiquated about that to me. Like meeting someone and being like, we're on a date today. Like, no, you're just fucking doing something. Like, that's not, it doesn't matter anymore. It's like super fucking old school shit. Yeah, why do I open doors again? Closet's nice and clean, as it should be. This is good. This is good. Don't have to go in there again. What's in this one? Bathroom? A little bit messy. Not that bad, though. Not that bad, though. Could be. Much worse. Let's get Chad outside. Why had, did I not start with the second floor first? It's like every time I walk a body outside now, it's like operation. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just get him out. Get him outside. Imagine meeting people ever. Look, Chad, here in the, here in the fucking modern age. Alright. Okay. Relationships don't matter. It's all about exposure, <laughs> all right? Everything is a transaction, okay? None of it, none of it matters anymore. <laughs> you, don't, you don't date someone for any reason other than knowing that you could possibly exchange a large amount of viewership between your two communities. Even if it's like, even if you literally have never made a YouTube or Twitch stream ever, you are observing their overall social worth to you, okay? That, I hate to break it to you, this is the fundamental reality of the world we live in. Everything is based off of fucking numeric social worth. <laughs> and you know, that's, I, sometimes, sometimes, when like, when I'm talking to someone, I gotta say, look, you're real, you're really nice, but your, your numeric social worth is sub 200 and that basically makes you less than garbage <laughs> and that is the last thing they ever hear from me before i hop back on my hoverboard and wheel away <laughs> i get back on my hoverboard and i'll fucking zoom off you guys know how it is <laughs> the 
the only serial killer streamer on Twitch. I shut up, man. Look, that's how it is. You hate how the world is, then go out and change it. Don't come crying to me. God damn it. Just turn on the shower to fix this one, dude. This is a mess. How, why did I not get... I gotta get all the bodies out. That's it. We're doing like a big lap getting everybody. Everybody's gotta go. We gotta stop doing it like this because this is a fucking... Hang on. I can like compact this body more. I think if I like do it this way, like their legs... Oh my god. I thought you were supposed to like bend more. I think this is technically the most compact. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, this is bad. It's not, it's not, it's not, just get him outside, get him outside quickly. God fucking damn it. She still has a spine. If you were a janitor and you need to get these bodies out quickly and compactly, you'd fucking break their back immediately. You'd snap like, you would roll them up till they were basically a briefcase, chat. All right, this isn't realistic for like a fucking, uh, you would, this wouldn't happen. Just fold them. Exactly! Fucking Wendy. This is a terrible bathroom. It's like awful. Hang on, where's all the blood? Why do I even care? It's gonna keep getting... Oh my! It's gonna keep getting bloody. This ain't gonna get any better. Till I get all the bodies. Why am I doing it like this? Maybe the... Wait! Wait a minute. Ooh, of course! Yes. An even better disposal method at my at my disposal. Yes. This is exactly how we'll take care of the mess. Skeleton in my closet. Ah, oh, that's pretty clever. That's pretty funny. You pretty funny. Game. Damn you, pretty funny. Get out there, now. Not playing around. Ugh. That's a meaty sounding skeleton. You. Oh man. I'm still just thinking about, that got me thinking about like the fucking, all the weird, if I had to go on a date, like if I, if I had to go on a date with someone I didn't know, like fa basically blind, like just, I met this person at the mall and I said, hey, let's go on a fucking date. And they were like, yeah, let's fucking do that, bro. And they talk like that. Like, I, I'm just thinking about all the fucking weird, awful ways I could start the worst conversations they'd ever had in their whole life just to fuck with them. I think I definitely lead with the pugs. I think I'd do pug bit first. I think if I had to, dude, be pug bit first. I think I'd talk about pugs. I'd see how, I'd see what their opinion is about pugs. I'd test the waters, and I'd go on about pugs for a little bit. Ask them about the pug situation. See what their deal is. See what line on the sand they... What side of the line in the sand they stand on. You know what I'm saying? Wow. There's a lot of mess in here. Cut a path. Actually cut a path. Okay, is that the front... Is that the front... What's the side of the house? This is the side. My bodies are going out the side of the house. <laughs> oh no, the trees are bloody. I can't clean. The oh, remind me later. We have to grab the lift and get the trees cleaned. They'll know. They'll know. I gotta get a waste basket for the rest. She has a Dishonored shirt on? Oh, dude, that would be the, that's the kind of person I would run up and fucking, I mean, again, my personality, dude, I would literally never walk up to someone I barely know and say, let's go on a date. That is fucking, that is totally not in my zone. That ain't in my zone, dude. That is, that sounds like the worst fucking experience of my life. Not like walking up and asking that, but like expecting a good outcome to come from speaking to someone for the first time and doing that. Like, that just doesn't, that's, uh, that's, no, that's awful. Nah, man, that shows confidence. 
Nah, dude, that's just the worst. Yeah, get the fuck out there! Oh no. The roof. Got it? Nice. Hey! Little boof pack. Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Thanks for the five gifted subs. That's serial killer shit. Chat, that's not. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Alright, th this. Explain. Explain to me. I want you to explain it. What part of that is serial killer shit? And I quote. Hmm? Explain. Tell me now. Tomato fear of rejection gaming. It's not a fear of rejection. It's genuinely... It's... I'm trying to find the best way to explain it. Because it's not about the concept of rejection. It's about the concept that what the fuck would I... Chat, imagine asking someone to spend an extended amount of time with you that you know nothing about. All right, this is what I'm talking about. You walk up to someone you've never met before. You simply like how they look. And you ask them if you would like to do something. If they would like to do something with you. And then you place you and them basically into a fucking, like... Cooperative hostage situation, okay? That's what I'm gonna describe it as, as a cooperative hostage situation. Both of you are trying to get away from each other if this sucks, okay? Like, there's no point in it where you suddenly just say, hey, this sucks. You are there for three hours plus possibly now, okay? That's awful, I can't imagine. It's a modern culture thing, Tomato's right. Thank you. That's rejection. Chat. But the thing is that the thing is that you don't need to go to a physical fucking meeting with the person to get rejected. <laughs> this is all. This is nothing. All right? You can just get a, you can get rejected over the phone, dude. <laughs> you don't need to go somewhere. Look. All right. If I if I it would be fucking unbelievable. What are you talking about, Tamara? He's been rejected over the phone before. No. 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 Hey, man. How are you doing? This guy's... Man. Halloween guy was always the spookiest face, man. Rejected over facts. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine? Babe, check your facts. What? Check your facts. All right. Oh my fucking God. Ghosted by a pager. Jesus. I need to get wastebasket up here, stat. It's got stuff in it. It's got a bunch of cans in it. I probably shouldn't bring this up. It's gonna smash and fall everywhere. We will get another basket. Tomato doesn't like dating game. Where's all your skeleton been here? <laughs> sort of forgot about this guy. Let's get, the, let me get this guy out of here. Dating fucking sucks, chat. Sorry. Okay, like the concept of like... Like that concept of like, oh, we're dating. And we're doing... We're dating. It's fucking dumb. Lame. It sucks. Oh no. Please. Yeah. I ate scallops the other day. I know. This is a big fucking. This is a big fucking jump from what we were just talking about. But I had some scallops the other day, chat. I started thinking about... I started thinking about scallops a lot, okay? Did someone... Hang on, first of all, get rid of that guy who just said scallops and then throw up emote, because I don't want them here anymore. Uh, secondly, I started thinking about scallops quite a bit, okay? And I started thinking about how scallops are probably the best seafood in the game right now. Start thinking a lot about scallops in the scallop game. Start thinking about, scallops might be one of the best ones in the game right now. 
Are you new? Li are you a New Englander? Oh yeah, man. We got those New England scallops, man. Start thinking about how I could date a scallop. <clears throat> yeah, I thought if there was someone, I, if there was something I was gonna date, it'd be a scallop. Okay. He's dating a scallop. Hey, that's what S scallops suck. Ben, that, Ben, that, get that person out of here for eight, eight hours and twenty minutes now. No, nah, if they say they hate it, you get them out. They're talking about my girlfriend right now. You're talking about my scallop wife. You son of a bitch. I won't accept it. I will not allow you to do that. I, why am I even bothering cleaning this spot? It just gets dirty again. Because there's like body parts fucking everywhere. What do I even care? Wait, I'm just gonna leave this bin here. This is the huck stuff that comes out of the machine that shouldn't be there spot. Okay. Tomatoes lost it. Chat, look. If there's one thing, I feel like you should have known going into this that this would be a stream where I went fucking crazy and just talked about like psycho shit for like fucking three or four hours. Okay? Because this happens every time. Single simulator, Viscera, it's the same deal. Like, th this, is a, this is a stream where you go crazy, okay? Like, you gotta go in expecting that sort of dynamic. Have any friends joined yet? No, because none know this is happening. I mean, I didn't exactly go into this expecting a multiplayer stream, nor did I really want it. I just enabled it because it looked like a fun little weird thing. Like it happened if someone wanted it. I don't, it doesn't really matter. It, it don't, it don't matter. Freddy? It's okay that no one showed up, man. It's okay they all hate me. They're just, they're just, they're just busy today, man. It's all cool. It don't really matter, man. It's okay to be alone. No, it isn't. Don't ever forget that, chat. <laughs> it's not okay. Besides, I'm not alone. I've got a Twitch chat here. And you're all very real. Ain't you? You're not paid bots that I purchased. Are you? <laughs> yes, master. Very good. You see that? That right there? That's chat loyalty. That's loyalty, chat. You can't buy that. You can't buy loyalty. That's something you earn with a credit card. <laughs> Specifically. Something you earn by making a small down payment on a botnet thing, you know? You earn that with money by paying for it. Man, can you? I can't. Look, dude, I hope when I die, if I die gruesomely in a way that is not natural death, I hope at least I die clean. All right? I, I hope I'm not. I hope I'm not someone else's viscera cleanup detail level. You know what I'm saying, man? Really hoping that I'm at least like, at least the person can say, well, this was one quick trip up and down. Like, I guess most people hope they don't explode when they die, to be fair. I guess most people don't, like, autopilot to that hope that they're gonna blow up when they die. Nancy! You dirty girl! Look at you! Look at the mess you made, Nancy! Where'd that go? Weren't you saying you would like to die by being stomped by an elephant? Chat. <clears throat> I like to think that my stream canon changes every hour on the hour, okay? So if I said an hour ago, that's in that tomato multiverse, okay? I'm in a new one, and this one, I want to die clean. <laughs> and this one, I want to die clean. And in another 30 minutes... Maybe I want to die real dirty. You know, no one really knows.
hour seems kind of long for a tomato can, and we can do every 15 minutes if you prefer. But there's an ad between every tomato can and episode, so you'd have to remember that we would have to run some ads. This thing's too full. We gotta get this out of here. Alright, this is like a time bomb in my hands. Oh, please. Oh, God, this is gonna fall over. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa! We got it, baby. Not bad, not bad. What's the current lore for Grandma's Ashes? Uh, toilet. Flush it. It's what she would probably want once she knows how inconvenient she's being. You know? I'm going to break it to you guys. Huck that thing. Right. In the ding-dang toilet bowl. Or... Or, or, this is an alternative option that they probably weren't expecting when they asked to be cremated. Put them in a coffin, bury them anyway. <laughs> Just sort of tell them that, tell, tell, tell the fucking guys now that you're going to put them in a coffin, uh, upturn the fucking thing into the coffin, and bury it. Psych. <laughs> We're giving you both. Curveball them. Grammy says she's full of the goldfish. She always loved that goldfish, man. Chat, I might honestly... Who gives a... Honestly, like... Who gives a fuck what happens to you once you're dead? You know what I'm saying? You're fucking gone. This is like always sunny shit, you know? Like, you're, once you're dead, you're dead. You're, you're out of here. Who cares? I'm gonna, tell my, I'm gonna tell my kids, if I have kids, some fucking ridiculous shit just to, like... Some, some bullshit they'll never forget and they'll tell stories about long after I've died. I'm gonna start thinking about it soon, dude. Like, when I go, I want them to do some fucking real dumbass shit with me, dude. And they better do it. Alright, I'm gonna fucking... I'm gonna drill it into their goddamn head. <laughs> oh, it'll be good. <laughs> It'll be good. Throw me in the trash? Too easy. I need to be elaborate. I'll probably tell them to divvy out percentages of me to different areas. I oh, I know! I'll get a list of every enemy I've ever had. Okay. I'll tell them to put me in little paper baggies. Okay. And light me on fire on each of their doorsteps. Yes. Light my ashes aflame yet again. On their doorsteps. Scatter my ghost, my, my ghost form across all their houses so I may haunt all of them in my free time. Very good. <laughs> I don't have many enemies, so it's gonna be like two people. What if they move out? Well, no, because they will have probably stomped on the back. And then it'll be, oh, technically it'll be their shoes that are haunted. So unless their shoe size changes, I've got them for at least five, six years before they have to replace the shoes. Which is good. That's a good, that's a good amount of time. Dude, I feel like I would be the most rad fucking ghost, dude. Like, I feel like I would seriously do some wacky shit. I think I'd do good at it. I should have probably grabbed the dirty bucket that was up there when I came downstairs, but eh. What do I, what do I, what do I, when do I ever learn my lessons, man? What do I ever min-max the game? That bucket's been there a while. Wait, of course. Maximum gaming power. This one's still clean, though. Okay. Remi remember that there's a fucking, there's a, there's one of the fucking button things in here. One of the IDs. Don't forget.
I can't believe there's still so much body left. Let's mop around. Alright. We just need to fish out the ID before we dump this thing in the fucking trash. Son, yes, father. When I die, I want you to fucking. I want. Son, I'm gonna need you to do some real stupid shit when I die, man. What is it, father? I actually can't think of it. I, I, I think I've already talked about enough crazy shit that I actually can't think of another thing. I was like, I started the bit before I could actually think of the next thing. Well, that doesn't happen very often, dude. Dude, imagine... His brain melted. Chat, the thing is right here. Do people think I, the thing was still in the bucket? You fucking unbelievable dumbass morons. You guys are gonna need that bucket because your drool is currently pooling on the ground. And it's fucking ridiculous. Like, they're gonna start... People are gonna start slipping. I just not- I killed that fucking jack-o'-lantern because of you. Because you kept pushing me. And pushing me. They're dead now. They're dead. I sort of want to check out the attic just so I know, like, how bad it is up there. Let me just- give me a second. Give me a second, because there's, like, an attic here. I'm gonna, like, clear out some of the- I don't remember this attic. I do know it exists, though. I'm gonna take a quick little peek. Add it. I was able. This actually ain't a very dirty room, huh? Take a quick peek. See how messy this is. Okay. I mean, it tracks upstairs. There's like a mess. That doesn't really mean anything by itself. Oh, this ain't that bad. This ain't that bad. Yo. Now, what's this note say? Mommy says I'm too young to have a banshee. I've been reading books when they're not looking. Daddy has funny books I want to learn. Maybe if I summon Rotting Men Army, then Joey will not bully me at school. I will make him hurt. Rotting Men make him stop. Maybe Mommy gets me Jane the Brain Squeezer for birthday, but I want to summon Banshee Friend. Dude, I wish I had a banshee. Imagine just being able to order, like, a ghost companion to fucking immediately eviscerate someone you dislike, you know? That'd fucking teach them a lesson. Yeah, that would, that would set them back in their place, man. I got it! Got it. Mix my ashes with flour. Make me into a loaf of bread. Prepare that loaf into a very good submarine sandwich. And then. And then. And then. And then. Throw it in the fucking garbage. <laughs> You're not gonna eat that thing. It's trash. I just want to. I just want you to fucking. I just want you to go through the steps. Throw it in the trash. Put it. Return it to the garbage. That'll be a secret last step. All right, they're gonna do the whole thing. They're gonna be so scared of what the final step is. Open the envelope when you've completed the meal. They open it, they throw it in the fucking garbage. Are you kidding me? Throw this in the trash. It, this is like poison. Throw it out. And then it will just say Omega Low. Over and over again. Dead. I know that I know this the whole con this whole stream's gone to some pretty dark places, but someone's last word was Omega Low. Hate to break it to you. Their last word was Omega Low. Someone's last word was literally Omega Low. Then they were hit by a car. Okay. 
they're out there and they're dead. Oh my god, Loaf! <laughs> that will be the punchline. At the end of it all, throw it in the garbage, Omega Loaf. And then, oh, dude. Where's the, where's the Ouija, like, where's the Ouija button thing? Mom and Dad have gone away for the weekend and sent Jason and Danielle to Crystal Lake. Now I'm back from the football tournament upstate. It's time to part A. I'll invite Gianna, of course, and all the others, Rufus, James, the bullfrog. Gianna can even bring some of her friends if she likes. Unfortunately, those damn bot flies are sure to come and crash the party with their shit. Whatever, I can, they can just try and ruin this. I'm going to see if I can get Dad's weird stuff out of the boxes. Some of that shit's really cool. This party's going to be so sick. Well, that's Gianna. And is this uh, Johnny Adams? Well... Hey, they got to holding hands, man. That's pretty epic. God, that's fucking hot, man. God, that's pretty sick. Nice. Is this dirty? How dirty is this? This is dirty. This gotta go outside now. Whatever. Who cares? Who cares? It's all nothing. I don't care. I don't care. It don't. It don't. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There's bodies in this one. I don't care. As was foretold in the scrolls, chat. As was foretold. To go upstairs. I gotta bring this upstairs and I gotta get rid of some of this fucking trash in these rooms. This place, these places are a mess. This whole goddamn building is a goddamn pixel. I uh, practiced whistling the other day and I actually I managed to produce a real note chat. Can you believe it? After all this time, old tomato gaming is getting better at whistling. Prove it. I'm scared. Because if I can't do it, you guys are gonna laugh harder than ever. I promise, it really happened. I got like super excited. I like, I, I, I was actually really excited. Prove it. Oh, uh, hang on. Okay, it's not working anymore, but I swear, it really happened. He's lying. Guys! Hang on, you guys are making me laugh, and then I can't, then my like mouth doesn't work right. Hang on. I almost got it there. <laughs> That's it. You made me do it. Hey, good news is I, like many people that pick up a harmonica for the first time, can literally pretty much instantly without any issue play the fucking Piano Man intro. That's like nothing, dude. It's like one of the easiest things in the fucking world to play, dude. <clears throat> the intro to that song, it's actually not that bad. I'm not gonna. Because I'll get fucking copyright claimed. <laughs> I'll be taken out by, by Billy. Billy will come. He'll come. He'll know. He'll know. Prove it. See, I'm not going to do any more because Billy will come. But it's actually like fucking 10 seconds. It's so easy to do it. It's actually like really easy to do that song. There's like no... A harmonica is actually a really easy instrument to just like freestyle figure out almost any song. It's actually really weird. I've been like fiddling around with it in like my free time like actually. Because it's really... A harmonica really... There's not, there's not that much real estate, you know? Like, there's only so many notes a harmonica can produce. And it's not like a fucking... Other, it's like a very simple instrument, like real estate. Like there's, there's so little there to mess with that you're not gonna miss a note by accident because you didn't press like the one of the forty buttons on the saxophone. 
Like, when I play the saxophone, I couldn't just, like, guess notes and play the saxophone properly, dude. Like, you couldn't do that. There's so much fucking bullshit on a saxophone. There's, like, a lever, buttons, just shit, like, fucking everywhere. Like, you, can't, you just can't do that. That was pretty close, dude. I mean, like, I actually can do it. I just, I'm not going to. Once I pass, like, the five super easy notes that are all right next to each other, you enter the part where I could make a mistake. Because, uh, like, the only, the downside of the harmonica is everything is literally, it, like, a fucking millimeter from each other. And moving one millimeter too far in any direction produces a very different sounding note. So, like, I don't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> I don't like embarrassing. I just tried to whistle on stream because I thought I could do it right and everyone laughed at me. Honestly, every part of me wants to go home, but I am home. This is my house and this is my stream, which is streamed from my house. So I can't go home to escape. So, you know. No lips. Can't whistle, no lips. <sighs> Maybe you're right. Maybe I just don't have what it takes because I don't have lips, man. Drop this. Drop it. I just wanted to correct this. I just wanted them all to go inside the box. There we go. Tamto net worth gaming. What did I talk about my net worth? I don't even know my net worth, dude. You asked me what my net worth was, I would have to guess. And even then, I probably would just lie if I did know. I've got like... I genuinely don't... I have, like, fucking 10 bank accounts, chat. Like, I... I think I can say that without you guys being able to steal my money. I have, like... I'd have to connect a lot of dots. I got a lot of money I hide in Sweden, man, you know? Like many of us. Like many of us. I, too, launder money. Like, just like you. Laundry money. That's right. I too laundry money. Just like you. We're one in the same. You and I. Well, this room is nice and clean. Cleaner than the one I arrived. Oops. Very good. I think I have to go to the bathroom. Oh no. Hang on, no, 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 we can finish this room. This room's like nothing. There's nothing in this room. I can finish this one real quick. I don't know, I can, uh, I can make it. I can make it a little bit longer, Chad, I promise. Read the notes. I read that note. I literally read that note. And then I gently put it back where it belongs. Oh, no, how am I going to get her out of here? This wench is going to cause a bad mess. Unless I carefully maneuver her to the exit. Please. Dude, imagine fucking finding out your like that. Where's my daughter? Oh, she died. Well, where's her body? Oh, one of the cleaners threw it in a wood chipper because he needed to clean the place. He had, he had a quota, so he hooked her in a wood chipper. She's somewhere in the pile. Fucking get a shovel and like shovel out some of it and just assume that's yours. Probably get close enough. Some of hers in there. I actually got that out without causing a single fucking uh, stain chat. Which is pretty good. You can call me a gamer. It's okay, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. Alright, Tina. Bring you downstairs. 
and then shovel your fucking ID out of the bucket before I huck it in. I don't think I can just shovel an ID out. Oh, no. Okay, well, uh, this place is already dirty as shit anyways. Who cares? This whole corner is like, this is the filth corner, you know? Where's, uh... Where'd that ID fall? Did it go in? It's sad if it went in, because I definitely don't think I hit it in. I thought it fell. That's sad. Well, there goes my perfect record. We'll probably find it on the... Even though you guys may think you know what happened to it, solid chance we find it by accident and, like, fucking... Like, next time we play or whatever. We'll just find it, like, in a pile on the ground. We'll find it by accident. I know, for sure. Get this one down there, too. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> Whoa! Oh, a new janitor. 65. This guy's fucking old. That's a powerful wood chipper, man. I'm impressed. So it's not over. I don't think it's over here. It's gone. Forever. Ah, well. Who gives a fuck? Actually, might, if it is still here, we might be able to see it by using the light. No. That thing got eaten. Too bad. But we gave it a good try there. 65, so he's the same age as Tomato Pog. No, because by the age of like 30, I'm going to officially be telling you guys I'm too sick to stream. I'm too old now, is what I'll be saying. I'll never stream again. So if I was 60, assume I'm already in the grave and watching from hell, okay? Where I belong. Assume that by that point, I'm in hell. Yeah? I need to grab another fucking mop, didn't I? Yeah, a clean mop. Yeah, we read this one. Yeah, we gotta get a bucket. We need some buckets and a waste bin up to the top. Tomato, you could stream from hell epic. Whoa! Hey, whoa, whoa, hey! What the fuck happened in here, man? Some sort of goddamn mess. And it's clean. God, I'm good at cleaning. Fuck! Billy is bad. I want to hurt Billy. I can hurt Billy. The tall man with the white face at the playground says so. Grandma talks to me at night. She shows me things. Mom says she's dead, but Grandma speaks when I sleep. Yeah. Typical fucking plumbing. Bad plumbing, dude. Remember, chat. If you are gonna flush ashes down the toilet to make sure you don't have to worry about picking them up later, you have to make sure that the plumbing doesn't have any weird jams or clogs. Okay? Chat, look, at the end of the day, my whole plan, my big pl my big flushing plan, really boils down to wanting to make the most haunted river in the United States, okay? Is that too much to ask? I specifically want to create the most haunted river ever. And in order to do that, I need many people to flush many ashes of many dead people into a river so that it can become spooky river. Is that, is that too much? Is that anything? You guys into that? Anyone into that? But why? Uh, what do you mean, but why? Advertising? Money? Chat, if you ever need to ask but why for almost anything in this world, put money in as a pretty solid guess. Okay? Money. Profit. Oh, you want to go across haunted spooky river? Well, I can take you across the river. You see, I'd have to buy a ferry for this. And the river would have to be large enough for it to work. Well, I could take you across the river, but... 
It's real haunted this month. Lots of people getting flushed down. It's real haunted. I could take you across, but it costs you more than you're able to afford. You know? See what I'm getting at? It's called the ocean. Haunted ocean! Yeah, I can take you across the mid-Atlantic. But we'll have to cut across 10,000 miles of open spook. You ever seen a sentient haunted iceberg rip a boat in half before? I have. Billions of people have died at sea. Yes, but this is different because these people expect you to care. Uh, if you die at sea, you know, you died out there, okay? You died. Fish got you. If I'm fucking carefully fucking cremating a body, and then I say, all right, and the, and the ghost is like, fucking nice. Okay, now they're gonna fuck me up somewhere nice. Wait, where's he going? Why is he going to the toilet with my ashes? Weird trip. I guess he, I guess he's, you gotta go, you gotta go. He's flushing me. Why is he flushing me? Wait, hey, and then you're, and then you're in the fucking ocean. You're, you're like 10 times more haunted than anyone else who's died out there, okay? You're like a thousand times more haunted because you got fucking, you got screwed out there, all right? Because you didn't, you didn't even expect that. If you, look, chat, if you go into the ocean, look, and I'm not here to fucking cheapen the death of anyone out in the ocean ever, okay? But, you, you, when you get on a boat, a lot of people don't think like this. I think like this when it comes to boats, trains, or planes. When you get on that thing, you are basically saying, and this also can apply to cars, but it's a lot more normalized, people don't think about it. When you get on those things, you're basically also accepting, ah, yeah, that may die today. <laughs> All right, you know that. There's a chance. Yes, there's a chance I'm gonna fucking eat shit. This is the price I pay for convenience. You know? They know. Haunted ocean. Come on, think about it with me. You guys could help. We could... Look, chat. I'm not saying you have to do it now. But when the time comes, think about Haunted Ocean. Everyone's family is immortalized in the spooky Atlantic. Forever. So that my big fairy plan can work. Yeah, I can take you across the Sea of the Damned. The Dead Sea already exists. Stream's over for tonight.